Jesus. Fuck, why is this game so loud? I gotta lower that for me. There we go. I can hear myself now. God, like, no matter how low I put this thing... No matter how low I put this fucking game... It's always so goddamn loud. Like, why? Like, fucking come on, man. Like, I put the volume on my computer to fucking, like, what, 12? And the shit still full-on blast in my ear. So, uh, oh, fuck. Oh, man, TV listenings. Did I, did I do it in time? Oh, man, I think I'm a little late. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Damn it. You know what? That sucks. <laughs> I'm late by like an hour. Oh, man. If I if I started the stream an hour earlier, which I was going to do, but then I got distracted. I would have been able to show off the little Easter egg there. God damn it. I could always just change the uh, time on my PC. Restart the game. Ah, nah, never mind. I'll catch it a different day. We'll catch it a different day. Okay, so. Hi there. Welcome back, guys. We're back with more Persona 4 Golden. How you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Um. So where we last left off. Um. We last left off in, like, the middle of the night or some shit, right? <laughs> See, 6, 7, was that? I mean, that seems right. Is this our save? It should be our save. And let's try it anyways. Let's see, uh Nanako, is it nighttime? I walked outside to see if it was nighttime instead of just looking at the fucking corner. Yeah, it's nighttime. Alright, so where the fuck did I leave off on? We had our whole story thing happen. Yosuke's at 4, Yukiko's at 5, uh, Dojima's at 4. I don't have a hero- I don't have a hero fan on right? No, I do. It's this guy, right? Hero font? Yeah, hero font. Jack Frost is our main. Um, we need to up our fucking- whatchamacallit? Let's see, expert, elegant- I'm an expert? Ooh, I didn't know that. I didn't know I was a bit of an expert. Alright. Out here looking like Daddy Pig. <laughs> well, I am a bit of an expert. Alright, um... Hmm. Diligence. Courage. What the fuck did I need? Oh. I need my diligence to be high to, like, take a job, right? Expression is eloquent, but we need it to be up one more. Is it expression or understanding? What What is it for you, Nanako? What do you want from me? Nanako, what the fuck do you want from me? Besides my life force. Hey, big bro. Yeah? Why do people die? <laughs> I don't know! She looks straight at you. Okay, expression. Alright, yeah. Alright. So. Gonna head to the shopping district. Nowhere else to go, really. Unless you want to hang out in the house. And, oh fuck, while I'm sitting here doing this, let me check the rest of the social links. Nanako's at 3, Fox is at, what? We're in, we're in like, what, June? Or some shit? Fox is at 3, I still gotta do, I think I'm doing the request for the dog for the fox. Uh, fellow athletes, they gotta fuck themselves. Adachi 3, Marie 3, Young Mother 2, Chie 4. Alright, let's get Chie and Yukiko up. As much as possible before we hit uh before we hit the the events. And then I'm gonna make everyone in the chat fucking fight. Fight for their affection. Fight for my affection. Your affection. Your affection. <laughs> Alright, Chinese Daya Aya. Let's see. Rageous courage. I mean, courage is only really used for- Oh no, we need courage to hang out with I, too. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Put that meat in my mouth. Wait, it wasn't even meat, it was tofu, right? 
That's a small ass dish I'm eating out of. It is tofu. Your forehead begins to sweat from the furious powerful spices. Mm. You can no longer feel your tongue. That's the best type of spice. I fucking love spicy food. Despite your fear, you continue to eat with shaking hands until the entire dish has been completely consumed. Can't handle a little bit of spice? Sugar? Spice? Everything that's nice. 800 yen? Yeah, no problem. I was actually born and raised in Inaba. I only talk like this because of what I learned in this book. What? <laughs> a book changed your dialect? Must be one powerful book. Oh, by the way, for those trying to get that trophy, well, trying to get that trophy, fucking, you're not getting trophies in Persona 4 Gold unless you're on the Vita. But if you're trying to get that trophy, you gotta get that book from, from Chinese Diner. Aya. Chinese Diner? Why'd I say it like that? Chinese Diner Aya. There we go. Holy moly donut shop. <laughs> it's June already? Huh? Well, good news. Tats, uh, tats, uh, fuck. For some reason, I want to say Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki Seppuken. Uh, Tatsumi-kun. Kun? What is wrong with me today? Tatsumi-kun from the first year is back with us, so try to set a good example. I know it's rainy season and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together. Okay? Anyways, I really hate this weather since I can't go outside and exercise. But watching sports on TV isn't bad either. I saw the hiking... The hiking... Japan, I love you, but your words are funky. Hike and die competition the other day? I totally butchered that, didn't I? They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance. Though, um, though I can see why men would be afraid to try it. Yeah. Hey, you. What sport is hike and die? I don't fucking know. It's balance beam? Wow, I'm amazed that you knew that, you. But you should ask me if you have questions, Yukiko Chan, not him. No, Yukiko, don't listen to him. You ask me. You come the daddy pig. I'm a bit of an expert. I'm not sure if you knew that. <laughs> I bet when you kids hear the word beam, you think about lasers or something. Laser beams. Pew. But it refers to the timber or beam. You tell me the beam refers to the beam? That's crazy. That's nonsense. Take that back. And balancing on the wooden beam is mighty tricky. Boom, the sport of balance beam is born. Oh, I never really thought of it that way. Interesting. You're a smart guy, you. Thank you. Expression has increased. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I need. So who wants to hang out with me today? Oh. Hey, guess what I just heard? What did you hear? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play! A what? The fuck are you on about? Come on, you know what I mean? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. What I mean is... I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back! Oh, you're talking about titties! <laughs> She starts, starts screaming it. What does? Tell me in more detail. Look, don't make me spell it out. Nah, do it. Anyway, <laughs> I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? And somehow a motorcycle represents that? Don't get it. So I got you this. Want to get your license with me, partner? Fuck no, those things are dangerous. Fucking, it's already it's already crazy enough that people drive recklessly in cars. Now you want me to fucking go on a vehicle with less protection? Are you insane, man? Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Well, it is the countryside. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? I guess, maybe. Yosuke seems serious about this. Sup, senpai? Hey, about the camping trip. You guys busy right now? Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. 
<laughs> Kanji's like, oh, you ready to fight? No, we're not bringing a war. What does that mean, anyway? You ready to fight? Bring me along, I'll put their teeth on the curb. We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? Huh? No way, don't tell me you already... Nah, I'm still 15 and all. Then why'd you say it like that? Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? By running? Eh, a bike's all I need for that. <laughs> in any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Hey, Breezy, how's it going? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle. Oh my god, I just realized the two girls in the background turned their heads. And then... And then... A girlfriend. Wow, just like that? So you're... Oh, that's hard. Oh. I don't want to say that. <laughs> so you're over her? You're over Saki? You're like kindergarten. Tell me more. Now that's my partner. All right then. Don't say it like that. You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? Don't say it like that either. What the fuck is wrong with you two? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. I forgot about that. Oh. Shut up. This will work out. <laughs> I forgot about that. As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. He just went back to school, just in the schedule. Everything's good at the moment. Now listen, don't worry, he'll, he'll find a way to fuck itself up. <laughs> the reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. I'm not sure about you, Yosuke. But, listen, I can't step out the classroom without being approached by Yukiko. This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up close and personal plan really starts. Up close and personal. Yosuke, that plan sounds very expensive. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. Wait, wait hold up. We got it. Wait, what? <laughs> Yosuke's like, we got more of a city boy thing going on. And Kanji, the guy who beats up motorcycle gangs by himself, doesn't? What? He's wearing a fucking skull and crossbone. Dude has a scar. He's fucking 15 with a widow's peak. You're telling me he don't look like he come from the city? Come on. We got to take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. You're a fucking loser, Yosuke. <laughs> the pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. Ew. Ew. F feral zone? Yosuke out here trying to drip. No, we're not going to a cat house, you idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Pheromones. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you saying? What the fuck is wrong with you two? Dude, that's how a perv would react. Pheromones. What did you say? Fine, then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. Oh my god. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. So, partner, make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? <laughs> so why Kanji's my favorite. You know, I played Persona 4 Golden so many times that I skipped the dialogue so many times that I don't even remember how they're delivered or what the fuck they say. The only thing I remember is that Chie has a different voice actor in the original. Got it. I think what Naoto you? had a different voice I actor too. Your uncle. I'm serious about this. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! 
It's true that with the motorcycle, your range of activities will increase somewhat. Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. <laughs> well, today is not that day. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Should you try consoling Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? Classes have ended for today. Waiting for the midnight channel. Got no choice but to just hang the fuck out. Let's see. So it's a rainy day. I don't think we can hang out with anyone right now. And we're still doing the... We're still doing the request for the fox, right? Dog will return. Yeah, I wish their dog would come home. Yeah, we can only do that when it's not raining. So... Can't handle any. I can't. Ha can't handle. Can't hand uh, any request in. Would talk to I, but I'm bitch made and she scares me, so I can't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, out of all the social links in this game, that's not. That's like not the main characters. I think I is probably the best one. Um, where the fuck am I going? What am I doing? Central Shopping District. Alright. Head on down. Oh, is there any books? Lovely man. Expert study methods. I think I read it. I should have read it. If I didn't, then I don't fucked up. Right? Um. Let's see. I, uh. How much money do I have? 72? Put this meat in my mouth, man. <sighs> it's about to be a mouthful again. <clears throat> Central Shopping District Chinese Diner Aya. You accepted the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face this unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to preserve against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in your current state. God, that's like a fucking tongue twister. <laughs> you try your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Knowledge has increased. Courage has increased. Diligence has increased. Increased. I, I said it like that. I fucked it up at the last second. I got to bed, mister. That'd be 3,000. You pay me. Get the fuck out my store. <laughs> After finishing your meal, you went home. But your head held low. Oh, man. Ah, you're back. That I am. Hi there. Hello. You want some meal, too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Nah, man, I, I put meat in my mouth earlier today. I'm good. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. I tried to eat eel before. Didn't Sorry, like it. but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. Constant slurping. <laughs> Dojima's just trying to do his paperwork, and behind him in a cuticle, he's just here. Adachi just. <laughs> he's like, What are you doing back there? Stop it. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a co worker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako chan loved it at least. I can't eat eel. It's too chewy. I love sushi, but I can't eat eel. It just doesn't. It doesn't go down. It doesn't. It, I can't. I try to chew it and it doesn't work. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. Huh? <laughs> Hang yourself, Adachi. <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Just eat your dinner. Y yes, sir. Nanako chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. If only children were like that nowadays. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. Excuse me. Is my streaming bothering your rest? 
every time I press this damn button, one of the two of these dogs in my room just just in the background just start going in their sleep. It's like, come on, man. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? What's the matter? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. What does being from the city got to do with it? The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Yeah, it's tiring. Yeah, it's a hassle. Right? It's criminal. Damn right. You say that, but... That reminds if me, I, I could, I would cut my legs off and replace myself. them with wheels. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. <laughs> the ultimate the healers. Right to skip the booze. <laughs> Shit. Does anyone... Does... All right. Listen, does anyone actually say the term booze anymore? Did they ever say the term booze? Because I feel like no one in the world ever did, and it's only something that happens in TV, right? I feel like if someone, if I was sitting at a table and someone said, pass the booze, I would throw the fucking bottle at them just for using that word. <laughs> Man. Adachi, you were the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh, did that suspicious guy show up again? Would you keep your mouth shut? We're going back. Get in the car. Get in the car, bitch. You heard him. Back? You mean to the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. Eel liver soup? Mmm. 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 I'm not sh- Mmm. I don't know. Mmm. I want to say that's- That's awkward- but at the same time, I eat liver, so, you know, I'll eat anything once as long as it's not dangerous. Like fugu? You'll never see me eating fugu. Nuh-uh. About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it? I'm thinking about titties. That's why I want I the it's license. it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I'm sorry? What? What the fuck? Listen. I know I fuck up my words all the time. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Vehicles? Vehicles? All right. Listen, I fuck up all the time, so when someone else does it, I gotta point it out. Vehicles? <laughs> I'll be careful with it. I'm sure I can trust you to do that, but allowing you to get one is another thing. Dojima seems troubled. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. I'm serious about titties. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. That's going to well, be easy. I'm sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. It's going to be easy. They hand out licenses to every fucking moron that steps through the door. It's from Yosuke. It's me. Yes, I can see that. Caller ID. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Don't worry, Yosuke. It'll be pretty easy. Yosuke must really want a motorcycle license. You promised to go to the... the wait. <laughs> it might be a J Japanese thing, but do you... Mm. Do you really need a motorcycle license to drive a scooter? I guess if you're taking it on like the highways and shit, right? You wonder about this the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned, but there's no way to find out more about it for now. You should review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. I'll do exactly that.
Morning. Good morning, Yosuke. He seems sleepy. I went to bed, but little details kept bugging me, so I kept getting up to check the manual. It never ended. I ended up getting almost no sleep at all. Well, if we're gonna do this, let's pass on the first try. How you feeling? It'll be a breeze, don't worry. I'm not sure if you know this Yosuke, but I am a bit of an expert, okay? And that's my partner. I see you haven't forgot about our up and cur- <laughs> Our up and- Cat's got my tongue. Up close and personal plan. Jesus. Well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. Class ended for today. You're gonna go get your license. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Because I have no choice. You take the license exam with Yosuke. The answer seemed to be flowing from your hand. You succeeded in passing the exam. Obtain scooter license. I don't think there's any possible way to fail it. <laughs> we passed on the first try. Just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. <laughs> Hold up. All right. It may seem like I'm laughing out of nowhere, but for some reason, for some reason, Hi. As, on duty? as Yosuke was talking, I just imagined the main character just, what if he just punched him in the face right there for no reason? I don't know why it popped in my head, but it was just like, well, bam. Man. Uh, parents had a scooter and they were talking about getting the license, but sold the bike since they didn't drive it much. Oh, really? So you do need- okay, I guess if you're taking it on the roads then, you do need a license. We just stopped by to get gas, and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? I got my license, man. Already? Yeah, already. I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I better think of a way to convince my sister. Ah, uh, then you're okay with this? I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. I mean, you easily can, but... Uh, details. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. See you later, Teddy. I mean, te fuck. <laughs> Mind if I borrow you a second before you head back? Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What is wrong with me? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Jesus. Wow. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you into this. What makes it so funny to me is that, like, how casual I fucking said it, too. It wasn't even like a joke. It was just like, yeah, see you later, man. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. Oh, Jesus. I'm letting you have it. Oh, shit, man. It's a nice bike. And you got a spare tire for me, too? You can tell. That's crazy. The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Damn. That reminds me, uh, growing up in the hood, when you're a kid, it's all about, like, having a bike, right? You know? And there was this fucking one dude... His name was Slick. I kid you not. Everyone called him Slick. And that dude constantly fixed bikes for everybody. Uh, like, you would just walk up. You'd be like, yo, Slick, I need my fucking gears fixed. And then <laughs> he'd fucking sit there, roll up his blunt, put on his fucking sunglasses. He's like, let me see it. <laughs> fucking guy. You're always so strict at the station. But you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? 
Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Wow, Dachi, you're just letting it loose, huh? Looks like he knows the back streets, too. So a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. <laughs> Bitch, get your ass in the car <laughs> right now. Well, anyway. I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. Yeah, fuck those guys. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. I remember <laughs> I got in trouble once for my fucking older sister getting a tattoo. And I was like, why the fuck am I getting in trouble? <laughs> uh, Low-key getting back at Dojima for telling him to shut up. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about Just it. runs away to start slashing his tires. It's like, what the fuck, Adachi? That's the police car. He's like, I know, but you drive it. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. Traffic laws is the countryside. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Good. I'll hold you to that. I promise nothing. You see the scooter. Alright, so. You don't really have to do nothing with the scooter. Actually, that's a lie. On some free days, we're gonna have to use this bad boy if we wanna do the, uh... If we wanna finish the social link for fucking, um... The Fox. So, whenever you got free time, hop on that scooter. Ride it around. After that, you don't really have to do much. Or you can just ignore it your first playthrough if you want to do that. Oh shit, why am I over here? Oh fuck. It's daytime. It means I gotta fucking look for this goddamn dog. Is it over here? Your affection. Your affection. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're going to be listening to the song the whole entire game. You got to get used to it. All right. It's nothing you can do about it. Where the hell is this mutt? I think it might be up here in the north, north side. Oh, there he is. Hi there, buddy. Grr. Looks like dog you saw on the riverbank. It must be a runaway dog reference to on the Emma the fox showed you. It seems like it's wary of you. What should you do? Hey there, dude. Whimper. Seems the dog became less wary of you. The dog ran away. If you're doubtful he will return here anytime soon, you should look for it another day. I think it takes a total of three days to mess with that dog. Alright. Let's see. Who can we hang out with today? Yukiko. She's always ready. And Chie. We'll hang out with Chie. Even it out. What you doing? She isn't busy. Hang out with Chie. You decide to... What the fuck are you doing over there? Are you okay? Are you scratching up your kid? What are you doing? Hey! Get over here! Get over here. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come here. Zero. Get over here. Come on. Right here. There you go. No. Stop doing that! <laughs> Ugh. He just started, like, digging up in his cage. What are you doing? You smell like dog shampoo. You smell nice. Sit here. You're gonna be sitting right here next to me. So I can keep an eye on you. He's probably gonna fall asleep on my lap. Alright. Uh... You decided to eat with Chie after training. Central shopping district, Chinese diner. Fuck, I can't even read. Chinese diner, Aya. Dina. Ugh, what the fuck? Delicious. 
The meat and rice just flow through my veins. That that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, I have to stop for a second because my dog just started like making a bunch of noises in his cage. I guess he was like trying to get comfortable or something, but little fuckers just making a shit ton of noise. Wolfing it down, huh? You look happy. Oh, on the happiness scales, it's up there with watching action movies. I need to work hard and pump myself up, or else I can't... Fucking, what are you doing? <laughs> I can't rest my arm now because his fucking big-ass head is in the way. You know what? Go lay on the bed. I shouldn't let you lay on the bed, but go lay on the bed. I need to work hard and pump myself up, or else I can't... Or else I can't pull out the... Pull us out of a jam, right? What the f Damn it. <laughs> Especially Yukiko. I need to be able to protect her. Mm. I hope she's not straining herself. It makes you worry, huh? Uh, I'm more worried about you, Chie. Your understanding has increased. Fuck yeah. Huh? Me? But I'm fine. I mean, I've been training and everything. Chie, you really want me to pull out the fucking stats? <laughs> Both you and Yosuke are planning on my fucking plotting on my downfall. Chie constantly misses everything. Yosuke dies all the fucking time. I'll make myself stronger for Yukiko too. Fuck for Yukiko. What about me? So keep it up, leader. I know me and Yosuke joke around with you a lot. It's fucking you and Yosuke. But we're all counting on you. Fucking Tihi. Feel a relationship with you, eh? Uh, with you, eh? <clears throat> <laughs> with you, eh? I took Yukiko and Chie, mixed it together. Your relationship with Yu Yu Hakusho has increased. Chie's determination in battle has been enhanced. Chie can now cure severe, sev fuck, severe elements during battle. I'm just not, I'm just, tonight's just not my night, you know? All this talking's making me hungry. Excuse me, another fried rice with meat, please. How about you? Talk to Chie for a while. Damn right See I did. See you later. See you later. You're squealy ass boys. You're back. So, I realized something, right? As I... Uh, <laughs> how to come I name my dog Zero? Well, if you were to ask my mom... Oh, fuck, I forgot I can't go outside at night. Fuck you, Dojima. If you were to ask my mom, she would say... She would take credit for it and go, Yeah, we named him Zero because he had zero chance of staying with us. And I'm like, haha, that's funny, but that's not true. I called him Zero... Because, honestly, I'm trying to, I, I fucking, he was a puppy, right? I was taking care of him. Out of the litter, I was like, I'm going to take one of these puppies. I'm going to keep him. And I was just, I was like, I don't know what to fucking name him. So I'm just going through names in my head. I'm like, I'm like, Zero's cool. I never, I never named a pet Zero before, right? And I was thinking, I was like, yeah, I like Zero. Fucking, it's the name of, um. It's the name of Jack Skellington's dog. It's the name of, you know, uh, Zero from Mega Man X. Zero from Borderlands. And I'm like, there's a lot of dudes named Zero. That's pretty cool. Right? That's why I named him Zero. What the fuck am I doing? I can either study or get my expression up. Knowledge. We... Ooh, we kind of... Damn it. Which one do I want to do? And then he had puppies later, and I named one of his sons Ace. Because Ace is usually referred to as, you know, in deck of cards. It's the one with the, with, it's the card with the one on it. Doesn't have a one on it, but you know what I mean. It was either call him Ace or Uno, and I don't want to call him Uno, right? <laughs> Nigel Uno, number one. Fucking... I got time for a... Uh... What the fuck was that noise I just made? 
<laughs> I got time for um, whatchamacallit. Envelopes is diligence, translate is expression. I got time to study later to get my knowledge up. You can't read this handwriting sentence. Guess from the letters? Oh shit. Speculate from context. What the f- Alright, whatever. Your guess didn't help out, and now you completely lost track of what you were doing. After all your work, your hands have stopped. Go fuck yourself. Family just writing names on the papers, put it into the hat, and they're like, yeah, sounds cool. <laughs> Me, myself, I personally don't like my name. Yo! It's not a bad name, it's just... <sighs> the way it's pronounced and the way it's spelled is completely fucking different, and it sucks. Because it's wrong, my name is incorrect, <laughs> and it bothers me. Oh, who do you think shows up on the Midnight Channel? I heard it's gonna rain. I heard it's gonna rain this evening, but it's not gonna last all night. Hey, have you been trying to solve the case on your own in your spare time? I know. I should be thinking about it too, but this kind of stuff just isn't my specialty. How about you? Hmm, I'm good at reasoning. Thinking hurts brain real big. Me too. <laughs> I move before I think. Well, tch, shit. <laughs> of course you do, Chie. It explains a lot. Well, everyone has strengths and weaknesses. I'll stick to kicking things. Time like this, no the fuck you won't. You get kicked out of my goddamn party, Chie. <laughs> Times like this are perfect for working out. But yeah, fucking, um, I, I got off a of track earlier. I fucking realized something. I curse a lot, by the way. I realized something, um, when I was like, just looking back on the, on the stream for Persona. And I'm like, man, Fucking like <laughs> it seems like I'm seems like I'm bagging on Chie a lot, right? She's just a fucking punching bag, right? And you know I make fun of Yukiko too, but then I started thinking about the other characters down the road, and I'm like, honestly, I don't have any I don't have any jokes for Yukiko really, because you know, like for minor spoilers here, but it's like I got nicknames for the other three: Chie's fucking coconut head, right? Nato's boy wonder. And, <laughs> and Rize is just a fucking slut. Like, honestly, I got a lot of jokes for Rize. Too goddamn many. But I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's nothing I can really say for Yukiko. She's not. Like, besides her laugh, it's like, you can't really fault her for having a weird taste of humor, right? I got nothing for Yukiko. Nothing. It's like, what, she's, she's dense and oblivious? Sure, but how can you make fun of that, though? You really can't, huh? Can you? It's like... <laughs> I, don't, I don't... I got nothing on her! I feel bad. I feel bad that I got nothing on her. Same, so many mispronounced versions of short names. Just, again, fucking, like, listen, we had the whole conversation before. I forgot which stream it was, but we had it. I think it was, I think it was Phoenix Wright. Um... But we had the whole conversation before, and it's like, fucking, I can't stand the name Sean. Mmm, <laughs> just fucking hate it. No offense to Sean's out there, but your name, your name's all fucked. <laughs> no one spells it correctly ever. There's Sean with a U, Sean with a W, Sean with fucking only an A. And then there's fucking <laughs> Sean with no vowels somehow. And then there are people who have fucking, you know, uh, names like fucking Lush on and, and fucking, and fucking, uh, like, Cush on and shit like that. Just like, just like a bunch of shit, right? And then even the Sean part of those names were misspelled too. It has no correct spelling, let's be honest. There's no, there's no correct spelling for Sean. Sean is just a fucked up name. If your parents named you Sean, they hated you. Seems like they love you now, but they don't. When you walk out the room, they laugh behind your back. They're like, look at that motherfucker. His name is Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. God. I'm walking around in the rain. Fuck it. I'm a madman right now. I'm walking around in the goddamn rain yelling about how Sean's a fucking stupid name. <laughs> I fucking hate Sean. 
go put this meat in my mouth. Because there's nothing else I can do on a rainy day. Except hang out with the, uh, what's her name, Yumi, but I don't want to fucking hang out with Yumi. Let's see. Has anything raised today? Understanding, knowledge, courage. I got nothing from that? Fuck you guys. Meat is less potent every time I eat it. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Don't you say welcome to me. You don't even want to hang out with me, Nanako. Well, she does, but I can't, I can't explain death to her. Dojima's not home. I get to fucking hang out at night. Shopping district. Mm, 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 mm. Fuck you, Yumi. Oh shit. Yeah, we gotta hang out with the Dodachi. Is there? I'm trying to think. Was there anything I actually wanted to do at night? I don't think so. Oh. Let's see. Hmm. So exhausted for work. I had to talk to the old lady again. I'm hungry. It's gonna become closer soon. Uh, why not? Uh... I guess we talked about that the other day. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? I hear you're quite the cook. Who the fuck told you that? I don't think I cooked a single thing in this goddamn playthrough <laughs> at all. The Jima Residence living room. You brought a dachi here for dinner. Big bro. The potatoes are still hard. Today we're having shoe. Shoe? Oh, you mean stew? Yeah, shoe, stew. Hey, you did it. Do you like stew adachi? Hmm, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh. I mean, yeah, I like it. It's been a while since I had some. So, do you cook like this all the time? I bet the Jima tells you that all the time. What a great help you are. Nope. <laughs> I knew it. He's probably just embarrassed. Dachi smiles. So, I heard you were moving back to this in spring. I bet a Dojima son is gonna cry. Aww. Now you made Nanako sad. See what you did, Adachi? In your fucking mouth. <laughs> Sorry. That's still a long ways away. Yeah. Um. Hey, Nanako. Have you ever seen this trick? Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Now watch closely. Adachi clutched the 500 yen coin. You watching? 500 yen coin disappeared. Oh. What? How? What? Do, do it again. Nah, this time I'll show you an even better one. Look in your big bro's pocket. The 5G coin put in your pocket. What? How the fuck? What? How'd you do that? How'd you... What? This man fucking controls space and time. Well, you're the best, Adachi. That was a surprise. I'm pretty good with my hands, so it comes easy to me. Doing what? What do you do with your hands? Maybe I should have been a magician then. I wouldn't be in such a... Ah, uh, well. I guess there's no job like the government job. It's not like I'm making a living working with my hands. You could always just... just listen, Adachi, hey, listen. We talked about this before, my guy. Dojima doesn't have to know, but you know, it's fucking you and me, we can start it. We can do it. fucking OnlyFans, man. You know what I'm talking about? Feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Wow, nice freeze frame, Adachi. Fuck. <laughs> Got him with his eyes closed. That's smelling pretty good. I think the shoe's about ready. It's stew. Shaitsu? Sh sh Shoe. Wrong. No, I said it right. The three of you spent a fun evening together. Got no choice but to hang out. You obtained your license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should take your scooter out for a ride. You should stop telling me what the fuck to do, voice in my head. Adachi hands only. Oh god. <laughs> only hands? 
what the fuck what was the thing that uh <laughs> was it um it was when COVID started right and they were like hey guys did you know that Pornhub made a little side site and it's just people washing their hands <laughs> oh this girl's here I think we gotta talk to her tired of coming to school I can't believe that they let Tatsumi in here I hear he started his own gang and goes around bullying people. How did I get to be in the same class with him? He hangs around the practice building right now. How scary is it? Hmm. Are the rumors true? Yeah, you gotta talk to this girl first before hanging out with fucking Kanji. And I think he's able... I think you're available to hang out with him starting on June 7th? Yeah, but he hangs out over here in the practice building. Why the hell am I using my feet to get there? Hangs out over here. So talk to her and then you talk to him. He uh, levels up with the Emperor Arcana. But eh, we're not gonna... Mm -hmm. Should I? Should I? Mm -hmm. Depends. Who can I hang out with right now? If Yukiko and Chie is not available, I'll go hang out with... Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> I'll hang out with the Kanji. Yukiko is not here. And Chie... Why the fuck did I go to... Why did I go here? Go to roof. Che? Ah, Che is available. What you doing? Your relationship with Che is going to become closer soon. Gotta do the girls first. You finished today's training and came here with Che. Have you had the steak skewers? The meat is tender and delicious, and they hardly cost anything at all. It might not even be cow meat. Why, why would you tell me that? Just kidding. Wow, thinking about it, it's kind of gross, huh? What? The police are here? Then, is this place really serving fake meat? Excuse me? You're excused. Yes? I haven't eaten any of meat today, I swear. Lately, there's been several incidents with a group of teenagers bullying people around here. Huh? Bullying? Extortion, if you will. Who's getting fucking extorted by teenagers? What? <laughs> Have you seen anyone suspicious? No, no one in particular. Hmm, I see. Well, you two be careful, then. Hmm. I'm glad it wasn't the meat. But still, bullying? What cowards, ganging up on the weak like that. Ah, uh, it's eat or be eaten. Big dogs gotta eat. <laughs> exactly, right, Chia? It's so cruel and stupid. We'll grab them and make them apologize, right, Lita? <laughs> Fuck it. Chia's like, bullying people? That's crazy. I'll fucking bully them right back. <laughs> of course, Chia. We got this. I knew you say that. Now all you gotta do is just pick up a brick. <laughs> Mowing down villains and saving the weak. A lone female fighter stands. To protect the town's peace, she throws herself into the battlefield, unbeknownst to all. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Yukun, leave it to me. Though I feel better if you helped out. And it make me kind of happy. Chie seems somewhat embarrassed. Feel, you feel your relationship with Chie has grown yet deeper. Don't worry, Coconut Head, I got your back. Chie Satanaka Link reached level 6. Chie's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Revolution. Alright, so... I don't know how revolution works. Does it raise the critical rate of everyone on the battlefield? Or is it just your party? Because I think it's everyone on the battlefield, right? And if that's the case, why the fuck would I ever use that? Don't think. Feel. Alright. <laughs> hey, Jack. How's it going? Hey, use it because it's fun. Use it because I want to die. Actually, in this case, would it be, don't think, eat? See you later! Walked back home with Chie eating steak skewers.
I mean, I can understand, like, why Chie would need it, because she's fucking missing every shot that she ever does. But... <laughs> like, come on, man. I don't want to use that. I forgot how... I forgot how much time it takes you to raise your stats in this game. Holy fuck. <laughs> Adachi, do I still gotta hang out with you at night? Oh. Me too, you seem bored. You studying? Students need to study. Want me to tutor you? Hmm. Feel it's gonna become closer soon. Oh yeah, well then, yeah sure, why not? Give me a break. Did that completely fly over your head? I forgot everything I learned in high school. Uh. But, you did invite me over for dinner that one time. I'm gonna start that only hands. Only hands, like, <laughs> I get that only, listen, we're going for only fans, but only hands sound like Adachi's in the street starting a fucking fight club. About to catch these only hands, you know what I'm talking about? Fine, but just today, all right? <laughs> catch me on only hands. Uh. You guys studying? Wait, no. I don't even want to look at yours. It's too complicated looking. Though maybe I could help with Nanako's. Huh? Really? You would? I got some homework. A book review. Oh, those? They're really easy. Alright. Does anyone in school actually do their fucking book reviews? Or do you just bullshit it? Because that's... Come on. When I was in school, they are like, here's a book review. It's like, listen, dude. I'm not going to read a book in a fucking week. Cut it that. Cut it the fuck out. <laughs> it's not happening. Between other projects, and never read a single book in high school. I read books in high school, but it's like, I read it on my own time. I'm not reading a book in a goddamn week when I got other projects to do, right? And I'm coming home tired as hell, hungry as fuck, because I'm not eating school lunches. Tastes like garbage. And, um, and like, you gotta wake up early in the morning trying not to die for the first three hours of the day. It's just like, yeah, you just read the last paragraph of the book and you're like, yeah, I can make something up with this. Or you just head to Wikipedia because teachers don't actually check that shit. Don't plagiarize. Unless you're in college. If you're in college, don't do that. Oh, those. They're really easy if you know what to do. You don't have to read the whole thing. Just read the notes in the back and then summarize those. I don't. But my teacher said read it and write what you think. Don't worry about that. We have to <laughs> read it. Yeah, I read it. I read the first sentence and then I wrote, I don't give a fuck about this book. It sucks. <laughs> um, let's see. Still past English classes. Uh, Jade's because book quizzes, discussions that were specific. Oh, yeah. Teachers never catch me slacking on that, ever. Let's see. Uh, is that how you do your job? Show sure, anything. You're right! <laughs> You're the same way. What a bad older brother. I'm bad to the bone, baby. Big bro, are you a punk? You call me a punk? You're a little fucking punk. Fuck you, punk. Come on, Anako, bring your book. It wasn't a review. Uh -huh. I just have to read it, and then get a mark from a grown-up saying I did. Oh, okay. That's easy enough. Though a mark? The Jima son's gonna be late today. Hmm. Will you give me one, Adachi? Me? Okay, if you're good, I'll draw you a big flower. I want one. <laughs> Alright then, let's get started. Once in a deep, deep forest, near a small, small river, there lived a pink alligator. Oh my fucking- <laughs> Yeah! For those of you who haven't played Persona 3, you don't know what the fuck she's talking about, but I love that fucking alligator. Nanko's reading intently. Of course I played Persona, it's my favorite. Even though, even though I want to strangle my party members for not doing what I'm, mm. But anyways. Listen, I would have started with Persona 3 on our playthroughs, but since Persona 4 is easier for people to get into, I started with that. We're playing, like, not, maybe not after this playthrough, but maybe after we check out Ultimax. We're playing fucking Persona 3. We're playing FES, motherfucker. And then at some point, we're going to come back and do Persona 3 Portable. Because got to show that one, too. The, uh, you know, FMC. 
So, and so no one remembered the pink alligator. Even today, the lake is shining the way it always did. The end. Oh, you're done? Do I get a big flower? Yeah, sure, I'll give you one. Yay! Flower. I like flowers. What about you? You got anything you want me to draw on? Hmm, nope. Nothing. You're no fun. Are you really related to Nanako? Never mind. You look mature, but you're still in high school, you know. I'm not sh I'm not saying it should be me, but if something happens, you shouldn't hesitate to bring it to a grown-up. You can tell that Adachi worries about you. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Yeah, but I fucking love Persona 3. God damn it. <sighs> I love Persona 2 as much too, but you know. I constantly like weigh them both. I'm like, I'm like, do I like Persona 2 more than I like Persona 3? Do I view Persona 2 individually or do I view it as a whole? I don't know. I don't know how to balance that out, but Persona 3 is fucking mmm. Love it. God, Elizabeth's the best. <laughs> that old lady brought me some photos of potential matches. She kept, in she kept insisting I see these girls because they're nice, and I had to do overtime because of it. Not like I ever get married. You don't want to get married? Marriage is where fun goes to die. You'll understand it in about 20 years, Nanako. Come to think of it, Dojima will be a father-in-law to whoever Nanako decides to marry. Yeesh. That certainly is going to put a damper on her chances. <laughs> you take that back. Fucking heretic! How dare you? Not in this house. Really? It's just no way. Sorry, Nanaka. No. I don't want to get married either. I don't like people with holes in their socks. I don't have holes in my socks. You did the other day. Fucking, she said, dirty motherfucker walking around, got them holes in your socks. I bet you ain't even brushed your teeth this morning. Uh, it's got the best story out of the three latest ones. Yeah, out of the modern personas, I honestly do think it still has the best. Actually, mm, no. If we were talking about base Persona 5, then yeah. But uh, Royal, right? Because if you're gonna if you're gonna take if you're gonna put FES against Persona 5, it's like. FES is, you know, that's what we got in the US, but like FES is basically the definitive edition with um of um to call it Persona 3 it stands for Persona 3 Festival, right? So fucking you know, it's like it's the main game plus the answer and the answer it's a good story but holy fuck all the characters are like most of the the smart characters are the dumb ones, and the dumb characters are the smart ones. It's like, what happens? <laughs> right? Hate the answer. I love- listen, I love the answer, and I love what it does, and it's nice to have closure in a story like that. Oh my god, it's so nice to have closure in a story like that, because I fucking was mad at the end of Persona 3. But... Like... Fuck, man. Do you know? But if we're going for, like, overall theming and, like, the message of the story tries to relay, definitely Persona 3 is way better than Persona 5 because it's a constant thing that happens throughout the game. Like, I don't want to get too into it because it's spoilers, but, like, compared in terms of theming and, like, how the game presents it to you, Persona 3 does it way much more than Persona 5 ever does. You wonder when it'll rain again. What should you do today? <laughs> they took Dorkun too literally. Yeah. Hello? This is Yukiko. You're oh Yukiko. <laughs> Every time, it's always her. She picks picks up the phone. She's like, hey, I heard you've been hanging out with that bitch Chie, huh? Sorry to call you all of a sudden, but do you have time to come out today? I'll think about it, Yukiko. Aw, don't feel sad. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'll see you at school. Like I said earlier, I got, I got nothing on Yukiko. It makes me mad. <laughs> I, I fucking, I have hard times coming up with joke for, for Yukiko. The other three, super easy. 
Go to town? Yes. Of course I'll go to town. Um, Junez. Alright, just want to see if the Dachi was hanging out over there. Um, I think I gotta head back to... Before I even do anything. I keep forgetting about it. Head back to the riverbank, look for that goddamn dog. I think the dog is down here. Make sure you have something to feed the dog, I believe. Talk to a gentle boy. Alright. Dog ran away. Should look for another day. Okay, I guess it's the next day. Do I have a steak skewer on me? I should. A uh, breadcrumb supersonic. It's supersonic. Steak skewer. I got two of them. Alright, cool. Because I think you feed the dog the next day. Gotta leave, get ready for early classes. Thanks for the stream. Try and catch the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Marie, how I will ignore you again. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. It's greatly appreciated. I try to, um, I try to upload more on YouTube. I really do. Just for the past, God, for the past couple of weeks, I've just been between both tired and busy. And it sucks. So, you know, but. I know, uh, I know after this stream, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna sit down and start recording a bunch of stuff for like a couple of hours. And I'm gonna try and get that out. You know? Tomorrow, the, uh, tomorrow the last part for the, um, the last part for the streams of, uh, Quartz Party Blood Drive should be getting uploaded on the channel, so there's that. Is Marie really the only one who wants to fucking hang out? You gotta be kidding me. Huh? Oh, you're here. Hey, I have somewhere I want to go today. It won't deepen just yet. She's on three, right? She's on three or four. What do you want? What are you on, Marie? You've been smoking some of that wacky tobacco? She's on three. You need Rize for her to get to four, right? Do I know the story before? Oh yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> It's my, like, even though it's not my favorite Persona game, it's my most played, because it's just easy to do. But the reason, the reason the whole spoiler thing is up is just so, you know, for people who, who don't, who didn't play it, right? Don't want, I don't want anyone hopping in a stream and someone going like, Yeah, man! Sucks that so-and-so is the culprit, and it's like, oh! <laughs> right? Because, uh... Ran into some of those troubles during the Danganronpa stream, right? Had like a handful of people that would come in and just get a little too excited, and it's like, listen, I understand. I understand you're excited. I'm not gonna blame you for it. But Jesus fuck, man! In that game, I was doing a blind playthrough. <laughs> Feel like you must be eating the entire cow. Fucking raise my understanding. Come on, do it. Yeah, you feel that. Exactly. It's kind of like, uh... Like, imagine imagine if I was like, Hey guys, my first playthrough of Undertale, right? And everyone's like, Man, make sure you get that love to level up, huh? Yeah, it's all about the love, dog. And it's like, alright. Calm down. <laughs> Stop it. Let's see. Oh, my expression has to be persuasive. And I'm trapped in this goddamn house. Because I don't have a job. Alright. You can work here. Uh, cranes. Translate. I'm just going to do translate again. God damn it. It takes forever to raise these stats. Jesus, fuck. I forgot how long it took. Today's day, people begin wearing their summer clothes. Yeah. Got some summer stuff. People deserve to feel surprised when they find how Nanako is the culprit. That's listen. That's why they wanted to make Nanako a playable character in Persona 4 Ultimax, but the fucking the you know the writer got told that he couldn't do it, 
because um because they killed off Nanako in this game, right? Couldn't have her killing any more people. And they're like, we can't bring her back from the dead. It wouldn't make sense. <laughs> I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I heard there's going to be less rain than there was last year. Oh my god, I just looked at her bag. It's the most bootleg fucking Adidas shit ever. What was it called? Baditas? <laughs> Who is it? Yukiko? Ah, uh, Yo. Got some free time after school. Want to hang out? Think about it, alright? Cool. Again, see, Chie walks up all casual. Yukiko, she's like, Wanna, wanna go out with me? <laughs> Good afternoon. Are you all awake today? June in Japan can be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and heat. It's fucking hot in Japan from what I heard when the summer comes. And I believe, uh, I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if it's changed, but I believe for like a couple of, uh, you know, may, maybe in, maybe in recent years it's changed, but I, I believe that someone told me that like, yeah, in Japan it's hot as fuck. Um, and most houses don't have fucking like air conditioners, so it sucks. Uh, that's why they built their houses with the idea of, you know, it being super cool. But don't waste your days anyways with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold, lactic acid bacteria are effective in training mold. In training? In treating mold. Treating mold? What the fuck? Who's talking about mold? When the fuck you started talking about mold? The lactic axis they produce guard against mold. That's why foods containing lactic axis bacteria don't get very moldy. Your bodies also produce lactic acid when you act, act fuck. Lactic acid can't speak. All right, now Kami, tell me what kind of exercise build up lactic acid in the mouth. Oh, fuck, I can't say it. So, I feel like this choice is wrong. I might be wrong, but I feel like this choice is wrong. Cause doesn't anaerobic stand for non for non dynamic? You know, exercises and aerobics is dynamic exercises. But the answer is anaerobics. Okay, the answer is you thought it was right. That's right, anaerobic exercise like strength training builds up lactic axis and muscles. Um uh, hmm. You know what? Now that I think about it. Yeah, now that I think about it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Urban exercise such as jogging uses light to access that energy. Yep, okay, yep, there we go. I forgot. I forgot. Nope, they're right. They're right. Alright, now, what we learn about lactic access, everyone, do 10 dashes. It's time for some anaerobic exercises. If you produce lactic access with anaerobic exercises, your body will be clean and mold free. Knowledge has increased. Yeah, all right. Cause weightlift. Okay, so yeah, I, I was thinking about it a different way. Cause weightlifting is more static than like you know, jogging and stuff, and that builds up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you skip dialogue in this game. <laughs> you forget. You forget things. You become stupid. All right, Yosuke wants to hang out. I think Chie was a okay for hanging out today. Yukiko is here. I'm gonna hang out with Yukiko. Because Chie is at 6 and I think Yukiko is at 5. Oh. Hi, you. You feel your relationship with Yukiko isn't ready to advance yet. Oh, what the fuck? Why? Will you spend the afternoon with Yukiko? No. I see. <laughs> Don't you I see me? What the fuck? Uh, I'm not ready to be close enough to you yet. Maybe it's because I maybe it's because I hung up on her on the phone. Probably that's why. She got mad at me. She <laughs> ate you. She just hangs out with this cat on the roof all the time, and she never mentions the cat. Ever. It bothers me. Jay isn't busy. 
It's gonna become closer soon. Wanna hang out with Jay? Yeah, sure. Then you wanna train? I'll see if I can hang out with uh, Yuhiko at night. Get that up. Finish today's training and decide to stop by with Chie. Mm. Steak bowls or combo plate? The ultimate decision. Why not get both? Shut up, dumbass. Oh. That's right. We all know it's time to cough it up. What? This is it? Quit bullshitting us. That voice. It can't be. Let's go, Yukun. Oh, yeah. Takeshi. Hey, someone's here. Whatever. Let's take their money while they're at it. This guy only had a thousand yen on him. Broke ass bitch. G GA! Hey! What are you running for? Gonna hide behind a girl, huh? Are you alright? I'm fine. You're always being good at stuff like this. They took my money. You're gonna get it back for me, right? Well, it does tick me off. Hey, cowards! Ganging up on one guy, you ought to be ashamed. Take care of them for me. Oh, what a bitch. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> She's like, wow, that was fast. Sheesh. Oh my gosh, she's got the fucking... She's getting the fucking... I was about to say Jet Li, Bruce Lee. I forgot which one. Bruce Lee? Is it Bruce Lee? I don't know. She's getting the fucking toe taps going. That's what she's doing. Come on! What's the matter? Let's throw down. Huh? What is with this bitch? You think, you think you're all that? I ain't afraid to hit a girl. I'm gonna kick your ass. Punks are aggressively... Uh, what? Are, fuck. Are aggravated by Chie's taunt. Things aren't looking good. Fight her myself. I'm gonna hold her back. Huh? huh? It's you, Kun. She seems discontent. What a pain in the ass. Yo, that guy you ran away might call the cops. Screw this. Let's go. Hey, hold on. Oh. What the hell? Running away when you step in? Why'd you butt in? What do you mean, why'd I butt in? What? <laughs> what? You thought you couldn't leave it up to me? Could have handled them myself? Sorry. What the fuck, GA? <laughs> what? Wasn't it you who was like, yeah, you should totally help me fight these guys. I'm doing what you told me to do. I charged him by myself. Caused you trouble. Hey, you know what? At least you're not like Yukari, and you can own up to your bullshit. You know how to say sorry, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Fucking Yukari. Urgh, makes me so mad. Alright, it's no trouble. I'm used to it. Just think next time. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Thank you. You're right, huh? I gotta remember, I'm not alone. It's always like that. Everyone's doing their best. Then I start to worry that it's all up to me, and I gotta work harder. I worry that someday, I'll end up causing even more trouble than like I did today. Or like when you ran in by yourself in the TV world. That was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid. That you are, Chie. That you are. But it's okay. Chie regrets her grandstanding. He felt Chie's quiet compassion. Did I say compassion? Passion. It didn't say compassion. I said passion, though. Chie's determination battle has been enhanced. Chie can now endure a mortal blow during battle. Which is like every five seconds. Yuku, thank you. Mm. Never mind. I need to work harder, huh? Why am I moping? I think about it some. Though, I'm not too smart. See you later! We walked home part ways with GA. Yeah. Why not? Welcome back. Fucking Dojima, stop. You're locking me up in here. Did I ever hold up?
Do you get a prize for a prize? Do you get a reward for the first exam? I don't think you do. Because you don't like really hang out with Nanako at that point, right? Because I started thinking about it. I was like, I'm fucking trapped in here with Dojima. All I can do is study or some shit. And I'm like, wait a minute. You motherfuckers didn't give me my reward. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't. Well, to be fair, I didn't. Uh, damn it. Yeah, I didn't get a uh, number one on exams. I got what? Top top 10 or some shit. Your room. Yes. Hello. It's me. How's your schedule tomorrow? Let's go inside the TV. Hey, Yosuke. Shut the fuck up. Get off my phone. Tell me what to do. I'm your leader. How dare you call me? How dare you? None of my fucking stats have leveled up in a while. Come on, man. Come on. Expression up, please. You decided to work on translation. Yay! Persuasive! You encounter a joke that you don't understand. What should you do? Go for the literal translation. Make the joke that fits. Oh, come on! <laughs> After all your work, your hands have stopped. Ah, fuck! I just remembered! I had to go check on the stupid dog! Damn it! I forgot to do it. School camp starts next week, and doesn't it? Yeah, right. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. And there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. Easy, you just take a baseball bat to each other's shins. How bad do you want it? Do you want it that bad? Oh man. Well, guess I can head to the diner then. Or hang out with you, me. Haha, <laughs> JK, like I'll ever do that. <laughs> hey, Yumi, what's up? Bye, bitch. <laughs> She's just in the corner, all sad. Oh man, it's kind of fun. Uh, man. <laughs> Imagine if I did do her social link and I got to the part where, where you know, her, her dad falls ill. And I'm like, what's up, Yumi? See you later. Leaving her all by herself. Her family's all fucked up. Oh, man. You know Arkami? It's a true Chad. Come on, Aya. Give me the meat. Aya's. We have the meat. <laughs> Alright. What do I get? What is my prize? Understanding. Courage. Diligence. I am strong now. Does that mean I can get a job at night? Can I get a job at night now? Please? Nanako's watching TV today, as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. Oh yeah? What about if you want? How about you change the channel? Nanako looks bored. Oh, I'm sorry, Nanako. I was just trying to I was make fun of you. You might as well try a magic trick. Nanako's watching curiously. You decide to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band on your index and middle finger. You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? Fucking with a rubber band. Then you open your hand, uh, open your hand you had closed tightly. The rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Nanako saw part of the trick. I saw it. It went like zoom. Do it again. <laughs> One more time. Wait. What was that jingle? <laughs> Did, does that mean I fucked up the trick? What happened? <laughs> she seems delighted anyways. I fucked up the trick? <laughs> what? <laughs> I never did that. I don't know. I never fucked up the trick before. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Okay, my turn now. 
Nanako's laughing cheerfully. The night continues. <laughs> I fucked up the magic trick. Oh my god. Yo! <sighs> Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. It's been on cloud nine all morning. So, Yosuke's been on cloud nine all morning. Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. So why don't you take our, why don't we take our motorcycles out for a spin to Okina after school? You know, you once promised you would. Yeah, I once promised. That was before. This is now. When the fuck did I promise that? Don't tell me you forgot. You know, our, our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girls plan. That's very literal. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year's, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is there. Yosuke, you're just looking in the wrong spots, man. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to wind, to wind up the lazy ass minds. Oh, to wind up the what the fuck? <laughs> Wind up. Is wind and wind spelled the same? Fuck the English language. God damn it. To wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send I'll, and I'll send home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between moral and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is. Tell me, Hanamura. Hanamura. It's you. I oh my god, I just fucking <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the game, and then I looked up and I saw Moroka's face. I don't remember that face. <laughs> you seem to be lacking in morals. Damn it, King Moron! I thought I knew, but now I'm down in myself. You, tell me what moral is, or morale. Cheerfulness in a group. It's the thing you used in the Dynasty Warriors game. Oh, that was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Natakami? Anyways, yes. Morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. You remember when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings down people's morale and their morals. And maybe that'll happen to you if you keep living lives of low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. Thanks, you. <laughs> I don't want to think what he say if I miss that. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Damn, Moroka. You're an asshole. He's like, remember those girls that died? I bet they died because they were sluts. And it's like, wow. Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. Huh. That was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh. If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. You ran out of gas, Yosuke? What the fuck, man? I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. Yeah, idiot. Or you could have just waited. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Oh my god, speaking about fucking waiting, like... I was... <laughs> A little, little bit of a personal thing here. I was fucking, you know, tallying up my funds and stuff like that. You know, because I got to pay for eye surgery for my dog. And I was sitting there, I was like, man, if I didn't have to pay for this fucking surgery, I can fucking just spend like, I can just spend like fucking three weeks in Japan. <laughs> yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. I was just fucking, I was just sitting there just going like, man, this sucks. <laughs> Uh, Mind if I head off for a bit? Guess I'll save the trip for next year then. Since I came all the way to Okina, there, there's this craft shop. It, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit. So you guys get started without me. Then why did he come with us? He came, came to fucking get some crafts, man. I do the same thing. Our plan's more important, Yosuke. Forget about him. You're right. Okay, 
Let's get this plan underway. You decided to wait here for a while. The early summer sunlight feels nice. Three hours have passed. The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Ah, uh, that seems... unlikely. <laughs> uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Yosuke, your plan was to sit here for three hours and just assume someone's gonna walk up to us and be like, Oh, nice scooter there, boys. Like, what? what? Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. Some holes? The whole plan is a hole. Yosuke's fault. Fuck you. It is? Wow, I can't believe you said that. Oh, yeah? Well, I said it and I'll say it again. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Is it like... Not matter what kind of motorcycle it is, as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. There's always a gap. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> a lot of F's on that word. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Then you should have waited. You're dragging me down with you. I hate Somebody, you, Yosuke. You give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet if you're getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't a fight, you know. What are you going to do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah. How else would I fix this? Come on. We have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. Right? Huh. Three minutes is all I'll need. What are you saying? I'm saying I got Even this. Instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Well, fuck instant ramen. Now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. I'm speechless, Yosuke. I, I don't know. I don't know what I what. I, what? what? <laughs> Yosuke. Yosuke, hi, hello. Yosuke. The man is always the one that has to approach the- I'm sorry, that's just the cruel reality. What the fuck, Yosuke? That Get out of my lame. seat. And I doubt it'll go well for us. Oh uh, yeah? It's gonna go you well for me. Him? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. <laughs> then make them say yes. Nothing to it. <laughs> Make him say well, yes. I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko senpai had. What? Only girls count for this, all right? What the fuck, Yosuke? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest. Alrighty, let's see who's ready for the picking. You. Gosh dang it. Nothing today again. There's an older woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. Oh, can I help you? You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? I'm a go getting college student. Mm, well, you meet the age requirement. And the height looks in the height looks requirements. Huh. Guess the only thing left is your potential to become great someday. The woman keeps looking at you. Are you the oldest child? Second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you live with your parents? Is your parents' house a rental or do they own? Is it a house or an apartment? The woman has a rapid fire stream of questions. I'm oh, sorry, I just like knowing all these things. Just so uh, just so as not to give you the third degree here. Let me introduce myself. I'm a homemaking assistant by trade, and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. Hey. Hey, hello. Hi. Hi, internet world. Traveling's not a fucking hobby. Stop it. Stop it. It's not. 
Don't ever stop. Stop it. The stupidest thing I hear anyone ever say. Oh, what do you like doing? Uh, traveling's my favorite thing. Traveling where? Fucking. And I'm a groovy hit with the 23 year old. I don't believe that. Something rings strange about what she just said. Is she really 23 years old? Listen, don't matter if she's 23. Listen, don't matter. <laughs> I really been lonely lately. My bed feels so empty. I played around with guys before, but I can't live my whole life as a tease. So I thought I should settle down. She's looking at you expectantly. Wow. Where's your pick and pan? <laughs> I'm your man. Wow. That's so easy. On our anniversaries, we should take me out to eat. French or Italian would be nice. We can split the housework and childcare. The woman winked at you. Oh, do you like kids? How many you want? When we get married, I actually have <laughs> my half of marriage license all filled out, all ready to go. I'm game whenever you are. Actually, do you want to sign it now? Seems like a good time to come clean about the fact that you're not <laughs> that you're in high school. What? Second year of high school? You're just a kid. Don't make passes at me, you stupid little boy. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else. The woman's attitude suddenly changed. You should give up on asking her for your number. Jeez. A little time passed. Fucking weirdo. She's like, I already got my shit filled up, bro. We can get married right now. <laughs> Calm down. All right, let's see. Hmm. Did you hear? Sasada son's a grandmother now. Really? But didn't their daughter just come of age? There's a couple of housewives here. Maybe you should talk to them. Yeah, sure, why not? A couple of housewives? I bet their lives are unfulfilled. What is it? I'm hitting on you guys. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You're hitting on an old lady like me? Well, well, I shouldn't brag, but I was the talk of the town in my younger days. Me too. The men in town. God. <laughs> I just had a fucking flashback. I'll talk about it in two seconds. The men in town couldn't stop talking about me. They called me the Black Widow of Okina. Oh, you're making me remember things. Housewives seem to be enjoying themselves in the conversation. You're a handsome one, though. I'm sure you must be popular at school. You look serious, but I bet you play the field. Hmm. I'll take whatever's there. No comment. Not really. Hmm. I'll take whatever's there? You're <laughs> so desperate. Oh man. Hmm. Not really. Wow, you're quite stoic for a young man this day and age. But you be careful with women. You fool around too much, you'll enrage some poor soul, and then you'll go to hell. The housewives are having fun. Conversation doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You should give up on asking for their numbers. All right. Yeah, uh, I just had a flashback talking to them, right? Um, I remember it was 4th of July. Um, me and my friends, we were hanging out, right? All the way until the, the morning. This is like, what, last year of high school or something like that? And, um, like, we're all, it's like, what, 3 in the morning or some shit? Like, 1, 2, 3 in the morning. And we're like, man, we're kind of hungry. Let's head to a fucking Applebee's. Right? So we're all getting ready. We're cleaning up the mess and stuff like that. We're all getting ready to go out. And fucking... Out of nowhere. One of the, uh... <laughs> one of the neighbors of my friend. Right? Because we were at his house. One of his neighbors. They walk up to us. A mom and her daughter. They walk up to us in their bathing suits. Right? They walk up... Well, there was four of us. And two of us was in the back. And me and another guy was in the front, like, cleaning up and stuff like that, while they were cleaning stuff up in the back of the house. And fucking, you know, in front of the house, they walk up to us in their bathing suits, and fucking, <laughs> just like, oh, we saw that your boy, that you boys are hanging out over here, you know, we got a swimming pool if you guys want to stop by, right? And it's like, fucking, one, two in the morning, <laughs> fucking fireworks going on and shit. And basically, 
me and my other friend, we're getting hit on by some by some girl and her mom. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm I'm sitting there. I'm flattered. I'm I'm super flattered because, you know, I don't want to I don't want to sound like an asshole, right? But, you know, they weren't bad looking, right? <laughs> they weren't bad looking. They were pretty nice, right? They weren't. They didn't seem. They didn't seem like. You know, except for just like hitting on us, they didn't seem like you know, bad people. And fucking, we sat there, started started rolling the dice a little bit, <laughs> started thinking about it. We we're like, maybe I do want to fucking go swim in a pool at two in the morning at some random woman's house. <laughs> she was she was trying, uh, but you know, at the end we're like. We're like, now nah, we're heading out to eat in like a couple of minutes or whatever, right? But, you know, we declined their offer, but she's like, if you boys ever want to come over, our pool's always open. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Man, that night, I that night, I was like, I'm not ready to become a father. It's not happening. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ew. There's a neatly dressed girl here. Will you talk to her? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I want to talk. Oh, uh... I am... Um, no use to this. Woman looks embarrassed. Sorry, I'm really nervous. I can't really explain. Hmm, are you... you alright? Sure, yeah. It's times like this that one must... One must be its calm... One must be their calmest. I must regain the balance of my heart, or evil will rush in. Hmm... I'm starting to breathe deeply. Phew! I'm all right now. My soul has been saved through God's intervention. Are you aware of this? At this very moment, our world is filled with demons and despair. That despair will invade people's souls. Eventually, the world will will become hard and cruel. Illness, accidents, bad lucks, all evil in the world stems from despair. I'm sure that your soul cries for hope. <laughs> what the fuck? Your soul cries for hope uh, are what brought you. Your soul's cry for hope is what brought you to me. Woman seems serious. However, you must not fear. There's still a path of salvation. If you pray to our God, your soul will be purified, and you will be able to lead a happy, fulfilled life. The woman's pure eyes gleamed at you. The time is now! Rejoice, my friend! Find your happiness, and gain inner joy. I will join the religion. Then chant with me! Let us heart be one! Ready! Here we go! Let's all go to our happy place! Let's all go to our happy place. You chanted with the woman. However, it wasn't long before you came to your senses. You failed to get her cell number. A little time has passed. Oh, damn it. There's a gorgeous woman here. Will you talk to her? Yeah, sure. Hmm? What does a cute boy like you want with me? I'm hitting on you. Ah, taking a direct approach. I see. Well then, I guess you can have a little of my time. It doesn't seem like the one I was waiting for is coming anyways. I kind of like younger boys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm. How do you feel about older women? Fucking love them. Oh, really? Then we might be a good match. Hey. Do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean. And not if you don't want to. But if you want, I can teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Things are going well. One more push and you might be able to get her number. Well, do you want to play with me? Yes, ma'am! Uh, <laughs> you're adorable. I'm starting to like you. But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. This is your chance to ask for her phone number. Will you try to get them digits? Alright, here you go. Just for you. Call me, won't you? You got the lady's cell number. I'll be waiting. Fuck, mission accomplished. You took more time than expected. You need to meet up with your friends. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. Aw, oh, poor Kondria. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? 
Oh shit. Kanji. Give me that number, dude. Give me that number right now. How dense are you? There's no way that counts. No, it counts. Give me the number. What about you? Did you get anything? Did I get anything? I'll never tell. Well, the look on your face says you obviously scored. Is that a cell number? Yeah, buddy. What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Damn, you're desperate. Please. Oh, God. How many times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? On the same right. day? Oh, shit. <laughs> God, you started threatening me. You said try to call the number. On the same day. She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. Uh, hello? <laughs> huh? You hear an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the line. Let me talk to the girl. <laughs> I kid you. I, I kid you not. I know people who will legitimately say shit like that over the phone. When trying to talk to some girl. They'd be like, where the girl at? I'm looking for the girl. <laughs> uh, Hello? What? How dare you hit on my curl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. Kanji, I think it's for you. you. Better not call again, got it? I oh. can hear him from here. Is that dude for real? Oh man. Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> Of course I did. One phone number right here. All right, yes, okay. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Yosuke kun Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. Way to score, Yosuke. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, oh shit. I'm in such deep <laughs> shit. D did I call the wrong number? Well, one more try. Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. You would be both, Kanji. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. I don't know, I thought she was crazy uh, hot. You guys. Uh. Ah! Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? Yosuke, how did you get this number? Date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh, Yosuke. My motorcycle! Oh, Yosuke. I oh, told you this plan was expensive. This is scooter. It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Oh! <laughs> the disrespect! Am I cursed? Oh. Uh. Did I insult a gypsy or something? <sighs> Let's go home. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. 
Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! <laughs> I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> the, fu <laughs> the fuck, Kanji? No, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. You saw Yosuke off at the station and decided to go home with Kanji. You should be able to come to Okino on your own now. If you have enough experience with your scooter, that is. I warned him. Said it was an expensive plan. Hi, Nanako. I had an adventure today. Hey, big bro. Yeah? How do people die? Hmm, typical question. Your relationship with Nanako is going to become closer soon. Yeah. She looks happy. You decided to talk to Nanako about life and death. I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. No problem, Nanako. Is there anything else? Hmm. Well. Oh, there is. What happens to a person when they die? They go to heaven. So it's true. Mommy went to heaven. Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? I don't know, Nanako. I see. You're not a bad person, so I guess you wouldn't know. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to Dad than I am? Aw, that's not true. He's protecting you. He's protecting everyone, Nanako. Mm. Then is everyone else more important to him than me? Oh. Seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. You feel that you understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. Ah, poor Nanako. Let's talk about something else, big bro. You decided to talk about something different with the lonely looking Nanako. Good night. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went home on your own. Aww. Oh. Morning, Yukun. Hey, Yuki. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't you go get everyone... Wow, I can't even read. Why don't we go get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? Hmm. We should do that. It sounds fun. Okay. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke know. I gotta remember to fucking get that fucking dog. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? God, I love, I love food shopping, cause I get to play with recipes. Speaking about playing with recipes, fucking uh, I have beef tripe in my fridge. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do with it. Carrots, potatoes, onions. Mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Oh, silly Chie and Yukiko. Of course they're not. They're apparently gonna make curry. That's a good start. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Yeah, ramen doesn't sound... I mean, it depends on... Listen, it depends on what you're doing for ramen. You want to make a... Uh... Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot the name for it. Um, 
Shit. Damn it. What's it called? Katsu? Is that what I'm thinking of? Katsu ramen? Takes like half the fucking day to make? If I had time, I would make it myself. God damn it. Let me see. Is that what it's called? Katsu ramen? Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Oh, tonkotsu. Something like that. It's not katsu. Katsu's the... Katsu's just like fucking... Fried chicken. Crispy chicken. Hmm. I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? No need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Huh? Of course you do. <laughs> Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Hmm. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. Hmm? There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. Makes no difference. Here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well. Let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. Yeah, you can put kimchi in curry, yeah. There's two kinds, though. Black and white. Whoa! Way to go, Yukiko! The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Makes no difference. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Like? Hmm. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt... I heard about chocolate before. Coffee, I think. Yogurt is for Marsala. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. Absolutely not. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. Uh, hmm? What about some seafood? Mm? That should make the sauce taste better. No. What are you two doing? Welcome back. Hi. Oh fuck! I didn't. Mm. All right. I gotta. I gotta. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, I gotta get a night job. <laughs> damn it. Da, da. I'm gonna study. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna study. I want my smartness going up. I want to be super smarticle. All right. Is it a free day? Today's first day at school camp. I thought it started on the weekend. Just try to hurry to the meeting place. School camp at dusk. Ba da ba da 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 ba da da ba 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 ba. Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. You threw away an entire- what the fuck? I threw away an entire Anyways, bike. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. Let's see. Man. I'll give you mine too, dog. You can have it. Huh? Why so generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man. Just enjoy. I can't wait to dig in. Should we taste this? Yeah. Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a 
a lot of love into it. I can feel your love from here. Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay, then. Chow time. <laughs> hey! What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... <laughs> Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty, too. Uh, gritty. That's the worst part. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. Oh, slimy. No. God, uh, the only time I think I ever had food that I would consider truly slimy is fucking, I tried Nauta beans and fucking, I tried two of them. I had, I tried regular flavors and soybean, uh, soybean, what the fuck am I saying? And, uh, soy sauce flavor, because I was like, why not? I was like, some people might like it, some people don't. Oh my god, it smelled so fucking bad cooking that shit. Right? You can eat them cold, too, but, like, fucking, you know, some people, like, put it in the microwave, right? God, it smelled so bad, and uh, at first, I was like, I don't taste that bad, and then I went in for another taste, and I said, no, 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 I take it all back. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it! Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. Yeah, go fuck yourself, Chia. It's nauseating! It's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Then why don't you try eating it? What? I'm telling you as a friend. Don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. You're being looked at with expectation. <laughs> Chia and Yuhiko are staring at you. Doesn't look as though you'll be able to fake it. Second you put it in your mouth, you sense something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this is inedible. There's no way you can swallow it. Oh, we're sorry. Sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't seem sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Something smells good. All right, you fucking bloodhound. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey! Uh, Hanako, you wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! Damn, Yosuke, she didn't even answer. Fuck it, you laying it on thick there, pal. No way. I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh. I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. Oh, what the fuck? And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. Isn't it bad to go straight to bed after eating? It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. <laughs> I mean, uh, off to bed. Lights out. To have some boo. <laughs> Whoever did the voice for for uh, God, I I just like bit my tongue saying that. Whoever did the voice work for Maroka, good job. I like it. You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. <laughs> wow. Night. <laughs> Just peace out. Well, is the rice at least edible? Can you eat the rice? Inside you and Yosuke's tent. Damn it. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet. It's like someone died. 
Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. Wait, we're the only second years here? Jesus fuck. So it's okay if I hang out here? Eh. Say as long as you want, why not? Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. Ruckus. Alright, alright, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Why the fuck did you guys put the tent up like this? <laughs> hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. I mean, he, he did it the other day in class. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like... It's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know. Maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> nice line delivery. Like it. Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. You, uh, eating over there, Yasuke? Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? <laughs> secret? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. The secret animal cracker. Oh, well. Honestly, I'll probably be hyped about that shit, too. I'll be like, fuck it, I found the penguin! I'm eat that shit. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Did anyone else bite the heads off of animal crackers when they were little? Just me? Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Man, speaking about fucking animal crackers, god damn it, I really want... <sighs> Damn it. My diet won't allow it, right? But fucking, uh, really wish I had some fucking Teddy Grahams. God damn it. I used to fuck those things up. Teddy Grahams. Do they still sell Teddy Grahams? Telly? Teddy Grahams? You have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there. Or my back's gonna break. Oh. Okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? <laughs> what I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you? What the fuck, Yosuke? What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well... How do I put it? Uh... Oh god, don't trail off like that! You're freaking me out! I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? Prove it. Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. Where? Don't let me in with you, Yosuke. To, to hell with this. 
If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girl's tent right now. Oh shit. Wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. No, 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 you're okay. Let him do this. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Don't yeah, man, this is gonna stop, stop me. Oh man, go get him, Kanji. Hell yeah. Now you'll see. <laughs> now you'll see. <laughs> to hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, dead. Uh, hey, wait! Godspeed, soldier. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. I declare myself fully responsible for everything that happens. Meanwhile, inside Chia and Yukiko's tent. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... You catch you? That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Yukiko, you know, you, 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 I'm starting to like you. No, 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 Yukiko, no! Ugh, I can't take it anymore. I bet Yukiko was super serious about that. <gasps> Who, who's there? Back at you and Yosuke's tent. Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Ah, so the shoe is now on the other foot that it wasn't on before. Now the girls are coming to us. Haha. -ha. Well, it's Kanji-kun. What about- y Yukiko, you just been down all day today. Y your face has just been stuck that way. He's out cold. Out cold? I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then- and then he- he fainted all of a sudden. Why don't I believe you? That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off! You can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Uh, we're here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir! Fast asleep, sir! Don't get cute, Hanamura. <laughs> Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. It seems like King Moron left. All right. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke. 
We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? That's perfect for me. What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spent the night cramped up in a tight space. Your back fucking hurts. The next day. The students were all dismissed in the morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... But what? Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the lot. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh. I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. Yosuke, my man. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Pretty swanky. Dude. <laughs> the fuck? That's just wrong. In all of the right ways. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. This man thought of everything. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Mm. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. Damn you, escape. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Very far. Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Like that. Hey. Uh, I gotta be neutral. You two look great. <laughs> where, where did that come from? They both seem embarrassed. Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. I do concur, my dear Watson. You guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. What the fuck, Yosuke? <laughs> Keep that to yourself, man. Don't you think so? Mm, you got a point there. You guys crossed the line. Definitely. I regret nothing. <gasps> it's freezing. You didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. 
What? <laughs> God, she has a nosebleed. Oh, it's like face first, dude. There's a big ass rock there. That was close. What was that for? I didn't do anything. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? It seems that King Moron is vomiting further out the river. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. You guys were gonna go in? Senpai. Don't say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. Those girls are mean. Kanji was right. Oh, welcome home, big bro. How's the school camp? It was terrible, Nanako. They did bad things. They did very bad things to me. All right. You have the day off from school today. Wonder if it will rain. Realize you haven't bought anything. Well, we bought... We got the sticker already, right? So we don't really need anything else. Let's head outside. Gotta go find that dog. Where's that? Where's that doggy? Mm hmm. Doggy, are you over here? Oh, there you are. Grr. I will talk to you gently. Hmm. Seems Dog became less wary of you. Dog isn't trying to run away. It seems to like you. But it seems to be out of energy. Perhaps it's hungry. If you gave it something, a dog... Uh, if you gave it something, a dog... Damn it. If you gave it something a dog would eat, it might become energetic again. Have some steak. Woof woof. Dog looks happy. The dog ran away energetically. It should be able to return to its owner's house now. You accomplished the request written on the Emma. You should report back to the fox. Fuck yeah. I don't even know what the fuck these lyrics are. Alright. Mm. Now that's out the way. Guess we can just walk around. I think we need Rize to get Marie up another level. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think we need Marie. I mean, I'm Marie. Yeah, I think we need Rize. Once we get Rize, it should be better. Damn, nobody wants to hang out? Fuck, are you kidding me? Leave the shopping district. <sighs> Junez. Who's hanging out at Junez? Yosuke. Yo! So you have Jack Frost? Feel like you might come closer. Alright! Alright! Let's do it, Yosuke. Your room. Yosuke pretty much barged in. Mmm, it's pretty clean. So, you keep the goods under the futon? You fucking know I do! <laughs> ah! You were acting di so dignified about it. <laughs> Why are you acting so dignified about it? Alright, I'll check him out. We, we go take a piss or something. Yosuke, don't tell me you're gonna- Come on, man! Yosuke, it's okay to tell you, but don't tell me you're gonna check my porn stash when I'm not in the room. That's weird. If you're gonna do it, just do it now. I'll expose your embarrassing taste. So, you ever invited a girl in here? I will soon. For real? Seriously? That means you're working on someone? You're damn right I am. Hey, big bro. Are you up there? Have you seen the public notice anywhere? Public notice. I'll let her in. Not a good Chun. You free today? Now I'm going to Takayoshi. Takayo. Who the fuck is Takayoshi's? I'm going to Takayoshi's house with Miwan and Yo. Huh? A, a guy's house? Um, 
Takeyoshi sits next to me. I'm gonna deliver the public notice to him. Miwa says she's going with me because she likes Takeyoshi. Because she likes him? <sighs> Man, kids are sure mature these days. Well, my first love was in first grade too. I'll always... <laughs> I've always been ahead of time. Fucking Yosuke. But well, I don't really need that in my life right now. It's just not the time. I have something I need to do before that can happen. Homework? No, well, maybe it is. You're smart, Nanako-chan. Nanako left for a friend's house. Nanako-chan called it homework. Catching the killer, ending the murders, bringing peace to the town. Only we can do it, huh? Let's hang in there. I'm counting on you. Yosuke's determination shows through. Shows through? You sense Yosuke's trust. Rank 5. Yosuke Hanamura's social link has reached rank 5. Yosuke determination battle has been enhanced. Yosuke now cures surveil... Why can't I say the fucking word severe? Severe ailments during battle. Oh, so did you uh, did the notice reach you yet? The one about joining the Young Men's Association? They were talking about having some kind of event to boost the economy. Junas is involved with it, so they're trying to rope me in. I don't have time for that. I told them I was busy, but they keep dogging me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or about boosting the economy. Yosuke sighs. Alright, time to take a peek under the futon. What the fuck? Yosuke's just like, alright, time to get my dick hard. Like, what? Come on, what? dude. It has gotten dark, so you said goodbye to Yosuke. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. Just two guys, hanging out, looking at porn together, maybe kissing a little. It's normal. The three of you are sitting at a table. An entertainment news show is on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! The press conference has interrupt, uh, interrupted... Well, has erupted into chaos. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Or, 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 hear me out. You can just drink water. And not use as much oil in your food. And cut down on some of the more carby foods. Just, you know, just, just, just a thought. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Yo. Yo, senpai? Oh, sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. Oh yeah, the shopping district seems different today when I was passing by. Like, everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. I smell a case behind it. Smell? Man, you're starting to sound like Teddy. <laughs> I still can't get over that shit earlier. Just Yosuke's like, see you later. I'm like, bye, Teddy. Like, what? Ugh. It didn't seem like the cops were involved in. <laughs> it didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking around at school.
Yo. Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. Oh yeah, Kanji, I had a couple of run-ins with that myself. It sucks. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all gonna forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Hmm, is Risei that popular? Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. Man, all I know about Rize is that she's the girl with the titties on TV telling me to drink Slim Fast. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! Ew. A cutie pie? <laughs> what <are you> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Yosuke? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Risei if I go to her tofu shop? Hmm. Can I meet her too? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Risei started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Risei be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Risei is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Rise does. All right, maybe not everything, you fucking stalker. Let's do it! Sheesh, he's all pumped up. All right. That's the end of the proof and the end of the chapter, too. End of the proof? What, what? So, I heard all the gossip going around about Rize Kuchikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They'll have money, they'll never have to compensate in marriage, and what should I make for <laughs> what should I make for dinner tonight? But you know, Juness's bonus month. Wait, what? Juness's bonus? Month? What? Oh, Juness. Fuck. <laughs> they say it so much that I can't even unsee it. Jesus. Juness bonus month. That's why I'm a little bit happier right now. They say that Japan's first implement implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. Hey, you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Nautakami-kun. You're looking bored. Oh shit. What period did Japan first implement the Ponens Bay? Well, you just said it. Ah, so you were listening. That's correct. Japan began issuing bonuses during the Meiji period. It's a wonderful culture. It's the joy of labor. So? <laughs> it's the joy of labor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're all ignoring me, thinking, thinking I'm just chit-chatting, eh? Well, it's gonna be on the test. Fucking remember that shit. Knowledge increase? That's right. Because I'm super smart. I'm a bit of an expert. Uh, who wants to hang out with me? Alright! You, you, my buddy, my pal. You got free time today? Hey, I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your pal, dude. I'm not your dude, man. I'm not your man, bro. Will you spend the day with Yosuke? I'll think about it. You kidding? 
gotta be kidding me. What the fuck? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Shut the fuck up, Yosuke. Talking to me. Get out of here. What? I said, I think about it, and you're like, man, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm like, what? I'll leave your ass on red. Shut up. <laughs> the hell is wrong with Yosuke? This guy. This fucking guy. Alright, let's see. Yukiko still doesn't want to hang out with me, huh? Isn't ready to advance yet. You know what? Fucking, uh, sorry, Yukiko. I'll be right back. Like, right back. Like, right back. Like, right back. I don't even know why I'm saying I'll be right back. I'll probably see her the next day or some shit. Um, head to the shopping district. Now that I got enough diligence. I should, in theory. All right, hospital janitor. I require some diligence. Take the job. It's sufficient for the hospital job. Fuck yeah. Now I can go out at night. Mm. See the others. Tutor. I'm a bit of an expert. Oh, you need understanding to be stately. Oh god. Whatever. Got my diligence up. Don't matter. Got an excuse to go out at night. Yeah. Still I get, still I get, oh. Alright. Uh, let's see. Chie available? Hey, Chie. What's going on, Chie Chie? It isn't ready to advance. Alright, well with that... Tells me that I can hang out with Yukiko with no repercussions. Why did I do that? Why did I leave the school? Alright. Let's hang out with Yuki. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Just went for a walk. Walking around with Yukiko. It's gonna become closer soon. You're damn right it is. You're back. Yo, I got a job. What's up? Tell the Jimmy about your night job. What? You're working part times in the evening? Hey, I'm your guardian, you know. You think I'm gonna allow you to do something like that? You should. You seem rather composed about it. Well, you probably get away with it because you have no intention of doing anything bad. Sheesh. All right, I'll allow it. I believe you. It's better than having you sneak around my back. But even though it's... <laughs> He's like, I know you've been leaving a fucking house. Link, I told you not to leave the house. <laughs> but even though this is a small town in the countryside, there's a lot of chances to get into trouble. So watch out. It's a promise. Got it? I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> yeah! I'm not going to work. I lied to you, Dojima. And I got away with it. Haha! -ha! I'm free! Okay. God, please don't tell me no one wants to hang out at night. <laughs> it's gonna be so sad. Uh, Ko's out here. It's just fucking Ko. Only Ko. Go fuck yourself, Ko. Put my courage up? I'll take it. Alright. Did my courage go up? Come on. Yeah, I'm brave! Oh, that means I can talk to, um, I now. Sweet. Finish your meal and you went home. You're damn right I did. Oh, it's a rainy day. Now I can hand in the, uh, the quest. Midnight channel. Go to town. Not gonna spend too much time fucking around with the with the box. But you know. Just gotta, gotta show my face. Be like, hey Fox, I did it. Hand it in before uh, the next dungeon shows up. Call the fox out. Nothing crazy ever happens with the fox's social link, so you can just skip all this dialogue. Just the fox being happy, does a little dance. 
All right. Thank you, Fox. Since your relationship with the Fox has grown stronger, it will give you a discount on the services inside the TV. You're fucking better. It's getting late. Heading home. Thank you, Fox. I'll see you tomorrow for my for my next assignment. Oh, you don't want to hang out with me, huh? Not oh wait, it's a rainy night. I should really, yeah, I should really do that. You know, in a couple of hours, everyone's gonna be playing fucking Shifu, and I'm gonna be tired of shit. <laughs> I want to play Shifu. I've been waiting for that game. You know what? I should record it. Yeah, I should record like an hour of that game or something like that. Put it on the channel. A figure appeared, and it's a mighty fine-looking figure, too. Seems to be a girl. She's wearing a swimsuit. Oh, come on, fucking cable TV and your fuzzy channels. She looks somewhat like Rize Kujikawa, the idol you saw on TV yesterday. Oh, my God. For some reason, it keeps zooming in on her chest and thighs. Oh, my God. It's hard to make out her face as a result. All right, Yosuke, calm down. Get your dick out of your hand. That was Risa for sure. Risa Kujikawa. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. There's no doubt about it. Her hairstyle was exactly the same as in her posters. All right, you fucking, you fucking weirdo. Oh, I. Yeah. Guess I should be so excited. Maybe you shouldn't. There's a chance she might get kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we should go there tomorrow. My heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, can I? You'll be going to the Madoku Tofu shop with Yosuke tomorrow. Hmm. Decided to go to bed for tonight. You decided to go to bed for tonight before you make God cry. <laughs> hey, did you hear? It looks like Rise Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Wow, I didn't know it. Thanks for saying it as loud as possible and talking to me like I'm a fucking idiot. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. That That's just Adachi's voice actor. That's just Adachi. Hearing that there's a big crowd <laughs> at oh yeah, you think so, Yukiko? I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little... different? Maybe. It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture... What the fuck? Even her beautiful slim legs. Oh my... Yosuke. What's that look for? <laughs> what? Did he just check out Chie? He's like, you ain't got no curves. Anyways, I'm positive, right? Oh my god, he fucking just checked out Chie. What? Uh, are we going? <laughs> Kanji's like, come on, man, stop fucking hitting me. I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. See you guys later. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? I mean, me, me and Kanji seem to kind of get that you little, a little distracted over there. And her slim legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yes, gay, you're fucking, you're just, huh? ugh. Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Dude, I fucking... I know people who stop at fucking green stoplights. Because they're like, I'm checking my phone. Don't you know? Risei Kuchikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? 
We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Sometimes you gotta do traffic control, man. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty. I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. Oh, shit. Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. Damn, they about to start fucking fighting in the streets right here. I'll pay to see that. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Man, I came to see Rize. Listen, might as well just be up front with you. I came to see Rize, man. Hmm. Ain't nothing weird with that. Everybody else doing the same. Oh, um... Well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an Idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan. Hmm. Fine. But remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Yeah. Well, they did take us in once. That was Yosuke's fault. We can't just tell him everything, right? He did it. Fucking Yosuke. If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. Got a point there. Ah, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here. But it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? <laughs> you sound like the world's about to end. Shut up. Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. I recommend gum, Moroki. How'd you know I can't eat tofu? Wow, well, that's considerate of you. Because I know you're bitch made, Yosuke. Now get your ass in there and buy your goddamn gan moroki. Wait, what's gan moroki again? Is it the kind with a rice cake in it? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Yosuke, you see the crash course on gan moroki. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? What the... Then, who's that? What? You told me a whole fucking crowd of people didn't notice her back there because she was wearing a fucking... a goddamn... Uh, I, I, I can't... What is... I don't even know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> it's not really a hair net. Uh, are you Rise? Yeah, so? Damn. Oh, man. Kerchief, girl. Kerchief, that's a word. No way. Are you really Rosette? What do you want? Huh? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh... Um... Kanji, order something! <laughs> Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow, she's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Maybe because she's not on TV. 
Man, but it's really her. I'm so glad I came. What, Yosuke? Mexico? You're telling me that an idol is tired in the real world? Man, that sounds unbelievable. You're a fucking moron. Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um, uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Besides this fucking Yosuke coming up in your shop being all fucking weird and shit. Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, <laughs> her beautiful slim legs. <laughs> you finished checking them out yet or what? Oh my god. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh yeah, I see what you mean now. Wow! I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. He's like, yeah, you're right. Your tits aren't that big. They're pretty small. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. Oh, man, Yosuke, take that as a compliment. It's hard to get the your funny remark. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. So far, all we know is that everyone's on that show has just been very, very, very sexually active. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm, alright, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks! Uh, Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Hmm, because they gave you a block of tofu. Maybe you can eat it for dinner. Later that day. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? Oh, shit. I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wow! Wait! You think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? <laughs> Something like a gang member. Fucking come on, man. He's not wrong, but come on. Hmm. Something smells here. The recent disappearances. 
Between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... <sighs> Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim, Saki Konishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. Getting a lot of Twin Peaks going on here. <laughs> Twin Peaks mixed with some JoJo Part 4. Loving it. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we going to be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. Yeah, like Zac Efron. Gotta get your, get your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Damn right we do. Oh my god, that's a lot of tofu. Yeah. It tastes great. That's a lot of food. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? Uh, nothing really. Just some gossip I heard. Yeah. I see. Yeah, you do see. <sighs> Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei-chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you fighting again? We're not fighting, Nanako. Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. It's not a fight if I'm winning. <laughs> the tense atmosphere continues into the night. You're damn right it does. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna fucking body slam <laughs> Dojima in his sleep when he's not looking. Elbow, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> in the middle of his sleep, I just elbow drop him. A figure appeared. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl. It's Rijay Kujikawa. The image is fairly clear tonight. It's not the only thing fairly clear tonight, if you know what I'm talking about. Eh? Should you try calling Yosuke? Might as well, he's gonna call me anyways. Yosuke, don't you know Creepy's the new sexy? Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. You hung up. You decided to go to the bed for, uh, to the bed for tonight. What the fuck is wrong with me? To bed tonight. <laughs> oh my god, I started my stream early today. Oh wow, I got a lot of time. It's gonna be a long ass stream. Jesus. All right. Let's see. Back to rotating these saves. There we go. It's gonna be a long ass stream. So about the midnight channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Uh, broadcasted on TV. Exactly. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to and for what? I don't know, ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? The fuck you on about, Yukiko? 
If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Mm. Well, it's a possibility. Smart. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks, I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're going to go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. I think so, too. You might be on to something, Yosuke. You might know what you're talking about. <sighs> as always, nothing makes sense. And the world goes round. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well, uh, it, um, well, um... Were you asleep? You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. <sighs> I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So what you're telling me, Yosuke, people die when they are killed. Got it. So the TV's a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Wow! <laughs> you said that fast. Uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> But if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! We gotta go with donuts and milk. No the fuck we don't. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. What? For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. A man, Yosuke said he was gonna sit there. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna eat donuts and milk and I'm gonna shit myself. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Wow. Wow. Huh? What brings you here? They all instantly turned and said, all right, what's going on? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. <laughs> not a bad guy to have around. Rize's ten into the shop. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. But we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! Uh, who's there? Man, you must have really, really worked for that. Hey, he's running away. <laughs> Get back here. 
Stop running, damn it! Don't, don't come near me! Shut up! What kind of idiot would listen to... I'll do it, you know. What are you gonna do if I get run over? Mm, I was about to say nothing, but, uh, call the ambulance. What? No! If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing me! No the fuck you won't. Hey, what should we do? Eh, yeah, don't listen to him, he won't do it. I can get him from the front. Yeah, that's the quickest way. Alright, on my mark. Look! Over there! A Martian! What the fuck? <gasps> you fell for that? A Martian? How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in! What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? Buck him, Adachi. It's no use playing dumb! Wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras! Yep. You're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Adachi, I want to I, I want to punch you in the face for saying that. I really do. You just I don't know why the way you said it. Please let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures. But, but, but it is. Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure. But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Awesome! All right, and that's it for Persona 4 Golden, honestly. Really don't know why people like this game. It's kind of shitty. Hey, story just ends abruptly. Good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, he hello. Um. Oh, did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Yeah, Yosuke, what's the matter? Granny just said that she does that. Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Wha what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me. I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. She left without saying anything? Could that mean... Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. You should make certain to watch the Midnight Channel tonight. I will do that.
That will be done. Welcome home. Hi, Nanako. I gotta go watch TV now. Bye. I need to stretch. My fucking... I have not been... Jesus. I've been sitting here for... For longer than I thought. <laughs> My ass is starting to hurt. Jesus. Just... Sit in a different position for a little bit. Something may appear on the TV. Something's gonna appear on Telemundo. Someone appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. Hello, Miss Kujikawa. This spring, one young girl levels up to become a high school idol! Yay! So today, I'm gonna celebrate by pushing the limits of standards and practices. Does everybody know what time it is? Showtime! I like showtime. Everything? How embarrassing! Is this too hot for TV? Well, if a thing is worth doing, it's worth doing all the way! I'm gonna bear it all for you! <laughs> Stay tuned! It was definitely Rize you saw! Damn right I did. Yosuke, everything I said before about being excited, I take it all back. Be excited as much as you want. Is she serious about bearing it all? I hope so. Is it me or are these shows getting crazier and crazier? I hope so. Yosuke sounds excited. He better be. Oh man, we're in no rush. Huh? But if we don't hurry and rescue her, isn't Reset gonna strip? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Dude, we can't let her go through with that. No, you can't. Yeah, I know, and it's a good thing. But, man, we couldn't prevent the kidnapping this time either. Even when we knew who the target would be. Well, I guess maybe we should stop him. From this afternoon was she no will die. I guess we'll have to do everything ourselves. Anyways, see you tomorrow. I guess we can save her. If it actually does happen, the FBI will cancel this playthrough. <laughs> Remember, she's oh god, she's fifteen. Oh no! Cause Kanji's 15, they're in the same year. Oh, I hate this game! Man, I, man, I'm bored. I got nothing to do. I guess I'll head over to Okina with the movie theater, the shops, and the cafes there. You should be entertained. It's a great shop for dates too. My girlfriend really digs it there. So I should see if she wants to go too. Why did you have to do that? I was rubbing your girlfriend in my face. Oh yeah, well... I hope that crazy woman at the clothing store makes you buy something dumb. And you... And you chunk... What? Chunk? And you chunk some way too expensive co... Oh, chug. Chug. And you chug some way too expensive coffee. Whoa, man. Don't be a hater. You being a hater, man? Just being a hater. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It's just a fun place to go with anyone. Friends or girlfriend. You want to come with next time? Maybe. How come we don't talk no more? It's always about your girlfriend. Hey, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. You okay? Now is the right time to say Teddy. <laughs> I wasn't crying. I, I... I mean, sorry, Teddy, but I didn't ask. Fucking, I started this at what? At like one? I am... Let's see. Three hours. Three hours. Three and a half hours... Until we see Teddy from the beginning of the stream. Jesus fuck. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. We would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. 
no one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry, but I couldn't. Well, you are hollow inside. Wow, Yosuke, you just, you just know the right things to say every time. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! Don't snap at me, this is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on, I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. Aww. I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Oh, uh, what? No fair! I'm sad too. Where's my treatment? Can I try scoring with you two someday? You motherfucker. Sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? <laughs> I forgot that's Yukiko's thing. Uh Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. You gotta score How's yourself a hot stud. Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Rise Kujikawa? You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. Maybe. I'll find <laughs> something I can do. I'm sorry, Teddy. I had to. Okay, I had to. Then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. In order to make any progress, it seems you'll need more information about Rize. You should try asking around town. All right. There's a lot of things I don't understand. And no need to rush it, ma'am. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I take back what I said, Teddy. I'm not sorry about it. I'll try even harder from now on. Very much. I fucking... Mm, I hate you. Teddy's gonna do his best and try to find his role in life. You feel a faint bond formed between you and Teddy. You established the Teddy social link, the Star Arcana. Cool. You don't have to worry about Teddy. It goes I'll up with the story. Here. Teddy's one of those freebies you get, just like the Fool Arcana. All right, so gotta hunt down some Rize effects. But before I do that, head down to the shrine. Talk to the fox. Accept the email request. Come down here. Alright, let's see. Oh shit, what did it say? Um, please give me some friends. Gotcha. Alright. For this one... Gotta head on down the Sumagawa floodplain. Talk to this kid. What? I don't got any money. I don't want your money. No, you're not. Uh, you're not here for anything else, then, right? I don't have any friends, so nobody ever wants to talk to me. Boy seems sad. He said he doesn't have any friends. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request. Everyone talks about things I don't know about. Right now, they're all collecting stickers. I have a sticker too, but they all said everyone has that one. If I had a rare sticker, I bet they become my friends. The boy wants a rare sticker. Hey, guess what, child? I'm gonna teach you a valuable lesson. Who gives a fuck what they like and what you like? Fuck those guys. You don't need them. They're not your real friends. You know what? You fucking... You can... You can just take the world on by yourself. Become successful and then fucking throw money in their faces when you become super successful. Tell them to lick your boots. <laughs> the boy wants a rare sticker so he can make some friends. Mister, is that a sticker? Prize sticker? Granter of your desires? If this sticker can do that, then I'm sure to make friends. Mister, can you give me that sticker? Hey, go ahead. Thank you. I'm sure I have lots of friends now. We're gonna have to come back and check on that dude tomorrow. 
That's why you buy a, you gotta buy at least one thing from Tanaka's store. You get a sticker that you give to the kid. Okay, so there's that, and then I think, hmm, I think you head to the school. I think you head to the school. Yeah. Um, and you gotta find. Oh, while I'm here. What do you want? I'm busy. I'll ask you out. What? Hey, what's with you? I start. I starting. I staring at you intently. Whatever. You should skip. You should skip your afternoon classes next time. We'll go somewhere far away. I'll invite you to come with me, if I feel like it. Talk to her, and since Naoki's here. Oh, hi. What do you want? I just want to talk. I don't want to talk to you. These words are harsh. Fortunately, your impressive understanding allows you to thaw the icy demeanor a bit. You're an odd person, actually. Want to talk to me? Yeah, it appears that I'm chopped liver to the healthy to the health community. You know what chopped liver is? It's something that no one cares about. Whether or not I'm there, the result is the same. I'm exempt from anything because my family troubles. Why don't they Why don't they just come out and say that I'm pitiable? Taiki Konishi's brother is smiling gloomily. Everyone circles around me saying I'm so brave. It's kind of nice feeling though. But they all have these obvious looks of curiosity written all over their faces. How was she killed? Why was she killed? Do you hate the killer? They don't... <clears throat> they don't have the courage to ask me, but they follow me with their eyes. Every, moving st um, every move, every step. I'm sick of it. Is that what you want too? Did you come here to ask me about the murder? Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Unfortunately, I don't have nothing to say. All I know is that... All I know is what they said on TV. But the answer is, uh, to the do I hate the killer question is no. Alright. Get that going, emotions. You can hang out with, um, you know. You can hang out with I the moment you get to rank 4 with the strength. You know, the moment she's introduced uh, through that. But you just gotta have enough courage to talk to her. Same thing with Naoki. The moment he's introduced, you can hang out with him. You just gotta have enough understanding for him. I think not. I think Naoki's a. Uh, I think he's a good social link too. Him and I are pretty good ones. All right. Yeah. Talk to him another day. Um. I think you talked to this guy. I really don't care about idols coming to the shopping district. She's at the tofu store. Weird. I have to go there today to run an errand for my grandma. Why are you giving me that look? It's just an errand, okay? Yeah, okay. I think it's... Hmm. It's someone... Hmm. Someone in the school you talk to about Rize. It's not that guy. I thought it would be. Second floor? Let's see. No. Mm -mm. Maybe second floor of the practice room. Ba, 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 ba. This guy? Reset? I'm her biggest fan. I like. I'm like diehard reset. Are you too? Uh, no? Well, ask me anything you want to know. A real Reset fan like me should be able to give you the minutest details. Oh, you just want a, you just want like a status update? Well, nothing's been bigger than the bomb she dropped about taking time off for a little R&R. &R. Her blog may have... She has a blog? I never knew that. Her blog may have some hints about why, but, well, there's a lot of theories out there. As a fan... As a fan... I'm... I'm this... I'm devastated. But I guess there's not much I can do about it. If you want more up-to-date minute info, shouldn't you be asking someone in the media or something? Maybe I'll send a letter. Maybe I'll send a letter through her fan club. I wonder if there's even reach her now. Seems that Rizet has a lot on her mind. Perhaps you should ask around. All right. Talk to that guy, and then I think we head over to Simagawa. Samagawa. Sam Samega. I don't fucking. Still don't know how to actually pronounce it. I just say Simagawa. This guy. Yeah, Rizu Kuzukawa Plums. When I don't get, uh, God, what's an idol got to worry about? I really can't imagine it. 
Not sure as someone who likes rumors. Oh shit, I forgot, yeah. Duh, you don't talk to that dude until the second day. Um, talk to the old lady first. Same thing with like a kanji. Head to their home. Oh, you're the boy from the other day, looking for Rize. Hmm. Something, uh, sometimes she leaves without telling me. Hope she's okay. I heard that she's a person with... Oh, damn it. I heard that some person with a camera has been wandering around recently. I think the person was called a Papa Rat or some shit? Nah, the people in the district try their best to get rid of that person, but he just keeps coming back. I heard that he's often at the floodplains. Alright. And I think that guy won't appear until the next day? If I remember correctly. Yeah, I fuck. It's every time I get to this part in this game, I always run up to this guy because I'm like, yeah, isn't it a guy that Yosuke's talking to? Yeah, no, uh, it's a paparazzi dude, and yeah, he doesn't show up until the next day after you talk to the old lady, and then you talk to the student. So, so now we're free for the day. Well, we're free for the day, but there's not really much we can do. I just hit my fucking microphone. That's great. I'm always hitting my microphone. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. It's a Friday, so we can head... We can... We can do the daycare center, but you know what? Fuck that noise. Uh, gonna head to... Why the fuck am I going to Junez? Not Junez. I want to head to the shopping district. Alright. I am going to walk on over here. Increase my understanding. Good. I need it for Dojima. Alright. He ate the steak bowl. No matter how much you eat, the bottom of the bowl seems to be far away. You Oh, shit. <laughs> However, because you ordered it, you continue uh, pushing food down your throat until it's all gone. I know the feeling. I started eating, like, way less, so now whenever I eat, like, I'm like, yeah, here's this food, I'm gonna eat it, and then I'll get, like, halfway through it, and I'm like, mm, I can't do it no more. So, yeah. I, I fucking, <laughs> I decrease the, the, uh, the size that my stomach can expand to. My appetite is way low now. Like, I come home from work at, like, what, 9 or 10 in the morning, I'll eat, like, a bowl of cereal, and then I'll fucking, I don't know, I'll fucking do something. Either run some errands or, like, just sleep if I'm super tired, and then I won't eat till, like, 6 or 8 at night. It's probably not healthy. Welcome back. <laughs> it's probably not healthy, but fuck it. I don't get hungry until that time anyways. You remember that you work as a janitor at the hospital. Man, fuck that job. Who cares? Nanako is you and me. Let's hang out. Um... Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. You're gonna become closer with Nanako. Fuck yeah. yeah. Nanako looks happy. You're damn right you are. You decided to watch TV with Nanako. It's a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Nanako is staring into the TV. Real father. Hey, big bro. What does it mean to be real? Hmm. Person you love a lot. <laughs> okay. Then you're my real big brother. Aw, oh, Nanako, I would trade my whole entire family for you. I'm serious about that. <laughs> Dad's my real father. Mm. But I don't think Dad really loves me. Maybe. Maybe I'm not real to him. Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter. What? That's not true. Did he say that? No. Then it's not true. Looks like Nanako has stopped worrying. Mommy. Aww. Why'd she leave me? When Mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Semagawa. Nanako talked some, talk some about her memories. You understand Nanako's true feelings a little better. 
Nanako, you're depressing. I love you. Stop making me feel bad for you, Nanako, damn it. It's all part of her plan. Hey, big bro. It's about Nanako's bed. It's about Nanako. Oh, fuck. It's about her bedtime. What should you do? And listen to her talk. Come on. Now I'm gonna talk with her. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then let's play the word game. Well, I'll start with W from word. W. W. Worm. Play the word game with Nanako. Good night. It's getting late. So you put Nanako to bed and went to your room. Yo! Yo, you! Hey, you yourself. It looks like it's gonna rain all day today. They said it's not gonna last until tomorrow, so I don't think the fog's gonna appear, but... It'll be okay for a while. Yeah, you're right. Still, the stuff that's on the Midnight Channel lately is pretty rough. We need to make sure- oh my god, I just realized it's been raining a lot over here. Oh, like for the past couple of months, just just having some real fucking foggy nights. Like, I'm talking about Silent Hill levels of fog. And it sucks because I work at nighttime and I work outside. <laughs> it's scary at night, dude. I will come after several days of rain. Alright, cool. Oh, it's thundering, too. Shit. Well? Can I... It's thundering. What the fuck? I can't... I can't move on with the investigation while this is happening, right? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think... Hmm. Oh, wait, no... Oh, how's it going? You came to ask about Rize? Still looking for information about Rize too? Well, how about this? Why don't we exchange information? You tell me what you know, and I'll tell you what I know. The people in the shopping district are making it hard for me to do anything, to do any information gathering. Alright, I'll trade information. You decided to give them some information. Hmm. Seems different on TV. As, as I thought, to be honest, I used to do a little digging to Rize's private life. I was surprised to discover she's totally different than on TV. You never realize it in her real life. Though, when you think of an idol, you should honestly just assume manufactured personality too. Yeah, almost like every celebrity out there that does anything. So she's worried about something, huh? Maybe has to do something... Wait, what? Sorry? <laughs> I, I had a stroke. Oh man, I can't go back and read it. Can I? Nope. Now, actually, she's probably just worried about the TV coverage regarding this shocking hiatus. I heard that Rizette was getting tired of her made-up personality. The real me and the different me has to act like an idol. She couldn't stand living two lives anymore, or something like that. Well, you didn't give me anything new, but thanks for the information. I can at least turn this into something. We put together the information the paparazzi gave you. It seems that Rizette was acting as a manufactured personality, and she was worried about her real self and her idol self. She was surely worrying about her true self. You seem to have gained some insight regarding Rize. You should report to Teddy. Fuck yeah. I forgot that that button does that. <laughs> I pressed it by accident. Why am I going... I meant to press this button. Shit. Alright, well, it's a rainy day. We can tell Teddy, but at the same time, we can just... Mmm. Maybe just a little. <gasps> Fuck, I didn't get the. Mm. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Never mind. Oh. I thought I forgot something, but no, I didn't. I didn't. I got worried a little bit, okay? There we go. Man, I has just been taking my fucking money. I'm getting broke. Alright. What I get today? Knowledge, courage, diligence. Really, you couldn't give me some fucking understanding? Come on, man. Or expression. Welcome home. 
Hi, Nanako. You're my favorite. Talk to me. It's yeah, Nanako. Isn't ready to advance? Well, I'll make it advance. Just talk while it rains. Relationship will become closer soon. You're damn right it will. It's a sunny day. Got a day off of school. Cool. Alright. Now let's go, uh... Whatchamacallit. Yes, going out till the evening. Time to get ready for the next fucking... The next, uh... Dungeon! Fucking... First head to the floodplain. Talk to the kid. Oh, you're the one who gave me the prize sticker. I showed it, uh, I showed it to them, but they said grown-up stickers didn't count. Here, you can have it back. Where am I supposed to get a kid sticker? I don't know about any. Boys looking for a rare kid sticker. Maybe you should ask some kids for ideas. Only one kid I want to talk to. Let me see. I also want to come in here and check on the, um... Check on two things. Check on the bookstore. Mm, catching bugs. I think I might need this. Be able to catch more bugs. No, I don't think I might need that. Mmm... I don't think you would need that. Get to the shrine real quick. I want to talk to the kid. Oh, hey. Lost my bug catching that. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> it's like... Kid's like, I lost my fucking net. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's good. Great. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's head over. Just in case I fuck up somehow, which I inevitably will. Uh, oh shit. You know what? Since I got a, since I got some money on me, I barely even shop at this place. Let's see, what do you got for me? Ointment, royal jelly, royal jelly exhaustion, 200, 200, oh shit, really? For all allies? Oh fuck, really? Sedatives? Deals fire damage, restores 100 to all allies, value medicine, oh wow. It's actually some pretty good shit here, revival bead. Huh. Some go homes, firecracker, pinwheel lightning. Alright, uh... 200. Probably shouldn't do this, but, you know. Wasting a bunch of money. Oh, it felt so bad. It felt so bad buying that. I never buy things in Persona games. Unless I need it for, like, social links or something. You know, but, like, consumable items, I never buy them. Oh, that felt so bad. I didn't like that. I didn't like doing that. Alright. <laughs> Let's head to, uh... I mean, the items are good, though, right? Some pretty good items. I'm looking at you, Persona Q. Fucking piece of shit. I hate you. I hate that game. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to let's play that game at some point. I hate that game! Alright, Junas. Hey, Dachi. How's it going? Oh. How about you? I'm a little busy right now. The investigation's going forward a bit by a bit, but I uh, can't tell you the details. You should hurry home. dojima son will be worried. Fuck Dojima. Fuck that guy. You're damn right. I wish the fox was more involved. Like, it's here, but, you know. It's an illegitimate member of the party. <laughs> we have a fu we have a legit mascot character, and the mascot ends up being Teddy. It's really annoying, we know exactly who the culprit is. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do this, my bad. <laughs> Check the weather report. Why do you put why is enter the TV the third option? Alright, let's brace ourselves. Teddy, I got some fucking details for you, my guy. I got those I got the juicy details. Hey Sensei. Looking for some clues? You damn right I am. Did you find out more about this girl Rise-chan? Uh-huh. Her real self. I see. 
She's just like me. The delicate, sentimental type. I doubt that. Then... Hmm... Ah, there's something out there! Is this it? Did I find her? Follow me! You heard the bear? Follow him, guys. What is this place? It's all dark. Oh my god, that's fucking bright, actually. Whoa! Jesus. I'm playing this in the dark, like a fucking weirdo, and that just hurt my eyes. Oh, like the kind you always find in resort towns. Wow, Yosuke, you were you were really you were really fast for that one. Okay. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, oh, but we don't have one. Our inn is not like that. Huh. So this is a strip joint. <laughs> <laughs> strip. <laughs> I know what that is. It's the thing zebras have, right? Oh. Strip. Like a zebra, right? It's so bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. Doesn't anyone get the joke? Okay, let's try one more time. Strip. It's something zebras have. Can anyone shut this thing up? Huh? Zebra? Sorry, what are we talking about? I... I won't say it again. Let's hurry on. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, Chie, you might have been a little... a little too much there. Yeah, pinpointed Rize's location. All that's left is to rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. Our team is filling out, now that you got Yuki-chan and Kanji. Yeah, there's just... Uh, there were just a couple of us to start with. Alright, let's get fired up. Now we can kick people off our team. Goodbye, Chi- Actually, what do you come in as, Kanji? You come in level 25? Level 25, oh shit. Well, Yuki's our main healer, right? Yosuke's well-balanced. And, you know, we dealt with- we dealt with his weakness last time, so this time he should be pretty good. Right? Um... What's your fucking- your weakness is fire, Chie. And then me, I'm using Jack Frost, so my weakness is fire as well. Right? Ice boost at 18, growth 1, Garu, Dio. Yeah, okay. Alright, cool. Now... Here we go. We're gonna. We're definitely gonna take Yosuke. We should take Chie, right? I should honestly replace Yosuke with Chie for the sole fact that um that uh what call it that uh that she has more stuff, more stuff that her social link is higher, so she has more benefits. What's with that weird face? I'm always serious, all right? Move from party. Okay, I'll leave it up to you. Hmm. Um, God. You know what? We're not really going to use Chie that much. I feel it, right? So, might as well get some time in with her while we still got her. <laughs> while we still got her. She's not going to go anywhere. But, you know. I, I know I'm going to be using Yosuke later on, so might as well have her. So, uh, fuck! I didn't get anything for... Mm. Can I Can I leave the TV world? Can I leave mm. Oh, I might just need to reload. Quit exploring. Go back home. Okay. See you later, bye. Yeah, fuck. Damn it. Alright, hold up. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Listen. Listen, I fucked up, alright? Listen, I fucked up, okay? Listen, I fucked up. I got used- I got too used to not- To not having to do anything. Right? What? Took one of my fishes without asking- You son of a bitch. 
Alright, this is after I bought the stuff from the store, right? Yeah, I got 39. Gotta buy some stuff for Kanji. <laughs> Alright. Uh, 90. Well, before I even get that, fucking... Sell... Oh shit, I got her audio shoes. Spendables. Uh, I think I still have the... Don't I have the gems? What? I guess I sold them. Hmm. Alright, well, armor. Kanji. 50. Uh, okay, so survival. There you go, Kanji. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. What do you wanna do with the skull t shirt? There you go. Um. Yukiko. Yeah, she's already wearing that. Chie. Yeah, there's no reason for Chie to have- Well, I mean, what is this? Full 10 points, innovation, plus magic up, plus endurance. Mmm, ah, shit. Well, she has audio shoes, so... Alright. Um... Let me... Let me equip her fucking audio shoes first and see what she's dealing with after that. Equipped... Platform sneakers. Audios, 110. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Alright. Now, as for weapon... Oh, I don't need to buy any armor for myself, do I? Yeah, no. Okay, cool. As for weapons, uh, let's see, the imitation katana. Oh, fucking hell, man. Punk shoes. Yeah, Adios is good for her. Silk fan, it doesn't matter. Uh, Yukiko's attack doesn't matter. Kanji, on the other hand, does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go for kanjis. I'm just gonna have to suck it up with my sword. I'm just gonna have to suck it up. I don't think I got anything to switch it out with, right? I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah. Alright, well, shit. That's all our money. Um, now we're gonna head to the, to the, uh, Junaz. Mm-mm. All right. All right. Into the TV we go. I didn't want to waste a day just for like walking in and out of the TV. Just gonna, what oh, is my bad. That's the skip button. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There you go. Alright. So, GA. I mean, you're the one who has most of the shit right now. Uh, Yukiko. And Kanji, because he's our new guy. So, I think I, I, think I said it before. Main character, you make him anything you want him to be. Yosuke, pretty well balanced. Chie, super glass cannon. Uh, Yukiko, magic dealer and healer. And um, Kanji, he's the tank of the group, right? Now, it's weird to have a tank in a fucking turn-based game in which enemies can just choose whoever the fuck they want to kill. But, you know, he mainly, uh, where Chie, I believe, is gonna always have more strength than him. He will always have more, uh, what you call it, more health, right? So, deal with that. Good luck. How dare you tell me good luck. Hmm, the smell, this atmosphere, smells like ass cheeks. It makes my heart pound. Alright. Oh, fucking... 
red enemy right off the bat. All right. The fuck are you guys weak to? This one's really strong. Okay. Good thing I blocked that. And I forgot to to take that off of you. Perfect. Leave this to me. Do I want to? Uh. Eh. Fuck it. What a skillful attack! Good work, Yuki Chan. Get a critical. Oh, really? It blocks physical. Oh, it's also weak to fire? Nice. We have our chance. Are you ready? Ready? Oh, you shot him with a gun. The hell are you looking at? All right. Oh, man. We're gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> All right, right off the bat, wrong button. Battle tactics, kanji. I keep forgetting to do this shit. Direct commands. All right, cool. So I don't want to. I don't want to hang around here for too long, but at the same time, I think we gotta. I think we gotta be at least like level thirty-five or something. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Damn. Here goes. Crush it time. Two enemies <laughs> down. Don't lose That's your head. Awesome, Kanji. Lay down and die already. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Wow. <clears throat> You're so fucking useless. Try my best, Teddy. Try my best. Uh, it got back up. Hurry and beat it. Here goes. Crush it Two enemies down. Now's our chance for a beatdown. It's my turn. Yeah! <laughs> I was like that. <laughs> I was like that voice line. Two enemies. Charge through them. Just conchy fucking screaming. Chan's in rampage mode. All right, shuffle time. Experience. Damn it. Might as well grab this. We're gonna need some new personas probably. And the strip club's fucking bumping in here. <laughs> All right. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. Maybe ice will help this time. Eh. Lay down and die already. Two enemies. Charge through them. Oh man. God. Go forward. Like you guys think I'm playing, right? showing no mercy. You think I'm joking around? I'm not. She just doesn't want to hit anything ever. Don't worry, Shay, this is the last time you've been on my fucking party. Last goddamn time. Oh no. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Oh my fucking god, you gotta be kidding me. Kanji, do something. We can smash them all! Let's do it! Have at it! I live for this part! Oh my god! Three enemies! Let's get through this! Fucking rebellion. Oh, okay, well. How the fuck? The revolution suck. This revolution. Oh, it affects, his it affects everyone! Oh no! Oh no. We're not doing that. Goodbye. Goodbye with that. <laughs> Maybe it can be useful, Chie. Oh, resistance. It. Fucking fuck, man. Wait, I had Zeo. Why the fuck didn't I just... Damn it. 
Oh. Maybe I should just let her die. It's down. Just oh, stand ready. Yeah. All right. Chi-Chan's really hurting. Heal her. Yeah. Woohoo, Chi-Chan. That's one. Uh oh god, I got Mudo. I forgot. Go, Sensei! You knocked it down. Let's Ready, set. It will end here. Good job, guys. We almost died in the process, but it's okay. Shuffle time. Experience, experience, experience. Ah, strength up. And um, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll be changing personas anyways. Let's go, card. What do you got? Kill rush. You did it, Sensei. Now can I have persona? Now, now can I have what the fuck did I just say? I'm having a stroke here. Lifestone. Cool. I'm just gonna shove that down Chie's face. Shouldn't really be relying on Kanji for, uh, for, uh, whatchamacallit, magic. He doesn't have that much. Um, I've been playing, <laughs> in my off time, I've been playing Shimigami Tensei, uh, Nocturne, right, for the first time. And, oh boy, playing a game in which I can walk places without having to fear for my life is it, great. It's fun. You know? God, I'm trying to play I'm trying to play Nocturne, but it's like I like the story, but everything else about the game I fucking hate so much. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oh shit. It's down. Nice job, Kanji. Now's our chance for a beatdown. It's my turn. All right, is it weak to ice? Ice has been pretty useless such far, Someone such far, so far. Augie, wow. Nice job. Oh, uh, experience. I'll be taking that, thank you. Ice boost, nice. Oh, you learn Rampage, great. Get rid of revolution. You're not gonna need that. You're not gonna need that. Not gonna need that. Oh wait. Yeah, it's revolution, not rebellion. Revolution. Fucking everyone's critical rate is up. Do you wanna die faster? What the f I almost I almost ignored you. Mm. No! Get over here! You will not leave me! Everyone. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. Fuck it up. Yeah. Oh man. Che. 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 You know what? Che. Fuck you, cause you always miss. Give it to me. Just one enemy left. Oh my fucking god. Hmm. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Ha ha! It ain't going down. Yikes, it's tough. They're so persistent. Crit, 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 please. Damn it, GA, your ability's useless and I hate it. What the fuck? Kanji, don't give up! Something's funny about Yuki chan. Mmm. I hate you guys. Just guard, Yuki. Critical rate revert. It doesn't even matter. It didn't make a fucking difference. It's bewildered. Damn, couldn't finish it. Yikes, it's tough. Just guard, Yuki. One enemy! Fight, fight, fight! 
Damn it. Serves him right. I'm not strong enough. And we've gotten so much from it, too. Since are you okay? I'm thinking of getting a little drunk from the pink. Uh, oh, God. All right. Who's my next victim? <laughs> oh, do I have a key? I think I do. Oh, come on! No! Ah! No, 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 don't you dare touch me. <laughs> Why don't one of you guys hit it in the back with something? Kanji, throw the fucking desk at it. Just sitting there, waiting and watching. Really? Something's weird about Chie-chan. Come here, Take Mikazuchi. Kanji really carrying us through here, Why man. Down? That's it, Kanji. Fuck it. Oh, Kanji, you beat an enemy. Oh. He's a mind charge. I'll oh, get the Pull fuck out of here with that. Fight, fight, fight. Do I have anything for this? Sure, all ailments besides down for one ally. <laughs> Success. Yeah, it ain't going down. Something's weird about Chi-chan. Get up, Sensei. Someone help. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? I never I never had that shit happen to me before. What? Dying in a boss fight? I get it. Dying on some shit like that? Come on, man. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. Oh my god. She is the only one alive. Oh, and they use fire. Oh. It'd be way different. It'd be way different if we just had fucking Yosuke with us. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Damn it. Che. Fucking. I don't know, man. I'm just having a not good day today. I don't know why I did it to Yuki. What do you got, Yuki? Uh, shit. Aguila Mudo. Fuck it, you know what? Do it. This'll be a piece of cake for Yuki-chan. Wow. Wow. Down. This isn't good. Okay. Uh -huh. Something's up with Kanji. Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. Ow, jeez, that hurt. Two enemies left. Go! Che, why do I have you in my fucking party? <laughs> Something's funny about Yuki-chan. That's what I get for trying to be nice. Does Garu hurt persona. you? Well, I mean, I can't use my persona, so whatever. Kanji has recovered. Good. Here goes. Persona. One enemy down. That's it, Kanji. Yeah. Oh, Kanji, you beat an enemy. Oh, now you want to get a crit. Yeah, okay. Now you want to put in some work, GA. That's cool. Uh, Did I level up? God damn it, fucking GA. Just. Uh. Where's the, uh. Med kit? There we go. Just. Fucking. I, I have no words. I have no words for what happened. I really don't. 
I am severely underleveled. I might need to head back to a Kanji's place and start grinding a bit. I might need to do that. Oh, come on. Aren't you weak to fire? Ow. Okay, no. That answers that. What are you weak to? This one's tough. Don't you I think it repels everything, honestly. Besides like light and darkness, maybe. The hell are you looking at? Jay can't take a hit for shit. And I bought her the new armor too, right? Like, come on, Chie. You guys, you gotta be weak to guard her. No? Then what the fuck are you weak to? It ain't going down! Three enemies left! No. Ain't no way you're weak to fire. Couldn't quite beat it. No fucking way. This one's tough! Hang in there! Oh maybe they just have no weaknesses. Yuki chan beat an enemy! Keep going! Oh I forgot. Chie chan's really hurting! Heal her! Yes, Kanji! Get you in okay? there and do some damage! I'm gonna have to change my persona. Jack Frost ain't Jack Frost ain't it right now. I chose the two ice bitches to fucking help me. <laughs> in an area that just not good for ice, you know? Jesus. Uh, this way. You stay over there. Black Feather, what the f- What's Black Feather do? Resistance to Darkness. Where the fuck? All right. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Oh, come on. Here goes. Kanji just carrying us. Let me do it. Here I go. go. The one good thing about Chie, you get that insta kill. For Yuki chan. Damn, couldn't finish it. Uh, come on, level up. Ah, deal new cards. Level up. Ah, damn it. I should have changed it to a persona. We're gonna be here for a fucking while. <laughs> oh no. You know what? I should have took Yosuke up on his offer when he was like, hey, you wanna you wanna head to the TV world? You wanna grind, buddy? Uh oh, this one's really strong. Let's get rid of you first. Come the fuck on. What is what is with this? Why does this game hate me? Huh? One enemy down! That's it, Kanji! I might as well do it again. It ain't going down! Three enemies left! Go! Two left! Still missing, GA. You're still missing. You never fucking cease to amaze me. Uh-oh! Yuki-chan's showing no mercy! Out of my sight!
Should've just had fucking Yosuke with me. Should've just had Yosuke with me. Oh, get the fuck out of here. No, no, not dealing with it. <laughs> not dealing with it. Not right now. Nope. Uh, what's the, um... There we go, that's the button. Oh, so I gotta head this way. Let's at least get to the next floor. Hmm. I can smell it. I smell something. My nose is sniffing out some kind of clue. It might just be the hookers and blackjack <laughs> that you're smelling. Um, you know what? Fuck it. You know, what floor? I'm on the third floor, right? Or some shit? It doesn't matter. I'll just use it to go home. Uh, we are under level the shit for this. It's in the entrance. Cause you know what, Teddy? You know exactly what? I'm gonna do this. Save here. You know what, Teddy? Jack Frost ain't it right now. Hmm, something's different. There's nowhere to be found. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Fly. Where am I going, you ask? Don't ask stupid questions. I don't need a map. I throw away my compass. My heart will show me the way. I walk by myself. Am I not lonely, you ask? Yeah, right. I scorn the company of my own shadow. Freedom, that is the rule. Why don't you try and hold me down? I will die magnificently in front of you. No one can break my wings. Those words are supposed to, like, fade in, I think. I think the game glitched out there. <laughs> this will be another one of Marie's poems. Ah! What is this? Did you read that? Did you read it again? Why? What, what the hell's wrong with you? I told you not to read that stuff. That's my rule. I live here. My house. My rules. I hate you, you stupid rule breaker. I can't believe this. Marie blushes. I don't understand. I remember putting it away. Maria turns to her seat and fidgets restlessly. Restlessly. That's a word. That's a word that makes a lot of sounds. Come out your face hole. Alright. Views. I'm low 20. That means I can have Gur. It means I can turn into fucking what's his name. I forgot the name for Invader Zen for a moment. Girl, get over here! I got a sandwich in my head. I love Gur. Who doesn't love Gur, really? Hmm. Let's see. What are you weak against? Light. I don't think anything's gonna be used in Haman. Fast forward to when everything starts using Haman. Uh, muzzle shot. You are strength oriented. Magic eleven. Agility 5. Mm, okay. Agility 5. Why did I say that? Can I read? 15. Number do good. Alright, let's see what you got. Ice boost. Well, ice ain't really gonna fucking help us here, now is it? Rakunda. Poison skewer deer. Wait, that's all you can learn? Come on, you're learning from Jack Frost here, dude. While inactive. Mm. Petra Dia skewer. Really don't get much, do you? Well, you are at rank five. Do any of these have like a higher ranking? Devil, no. Temperance, no. Strength, no. Fortune, Hermit, Justice, ju uh, Chariot. Chariot's at rank, uh, what you call it? Seven. Weak to electricity. All right, well, I don't have much money. I got 10,000 on me. So let's see if I can... Uh, get something that can help make a chariot. Uh, 
I got you already. Jack Frost, I already have. Not enough room. Oh, not enough room? Really? Alright, well, here's the thing. Let's start... <sighs> Shit. Well, I'm gonna end up grinding at some point anyways, so... I just don't want to start doing shit willy-nilly, but whatever. Temperance. I got you already. Chariot. Can't fuse you because I'm not a high enough level. Uh, let's see. Who am I using for this? Saki and... Eh, why not? Gonna do the old, uh, the old trick of fuse some shit and some other shit to try and get stronger shit. Let's see, I'm Anzu. Together we shall walk this long and arduous road. Arduous, fuck, arduous road. Can't fucking articulate my words. Cool. Thanks. Um, not really gonna be using that guy. Can I make anything with you? Well, pff, I can make that. But I won't really get much from it, now will I? I can make Phoenix, but I haven't really been... Yeah, you know, Phoenix would have been really good for this area, too. Shit. Well, mm, maybe not the boss. This would have been good for this area. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Maybe I can just fuse you and pass down your shit, right? Because you got my Zeo media. Who am I? Yeah, let's do that real quick. Invigorate, alertness, lower surprise attacks. Hama. Hmm. Mugaru Agi. Hmm. <laughs> Cool. Birdman. Thank you. Twenty-four. Uh see Titan strength. Alright. Compendium. Gonna bring Izanagi up in here. And gonna bring Alright, we can get, uh, well we can't get Legion because it's one more above us. What? Legion is full too, so... Ooh, oh that would have been nice to have. Well, maybe if I had better move pool. Uh, Nakshini. Oh, would have been great, would have been great. Let's see, Emperor, Chariot. Trying to get something that I can use with the chariot and get a good amount of stuff for. Um, Jester. See, I don't want to use Jack Frost for that. Damn it. Matador. Death. 24. We can't even get that. McCoy. Barith. Fortune, Prince Ability, Valkyrie, and that guy? Yeah, sure, why not? Mazio, Media, and Invigorate. I'm trying to, like, cross my fingers, hope I get something good. Might not. Mahamon. Mahamon can can come handy. You know. Prince ability has been added to your soul. Uh da 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 Hua Po. What can I get from fusing Jack Frost and Prince Ability? Oh 
Weak to win. Temperance, level 2. Mazia Rakunda, you would also learn Agi. Mabufu. Growth, Ice Boost. It would at least get Maka Jam from a level up. Damn, means Nagi, you're just... <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're just wasting space, buddy. Damn it. Alright, let's try. Let's get one more person from the Compendium back in here. Saki. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have enough slots. Wait, what? I don't have enough slots. Oh, I just don't have enough money for it. Okay. Hmm. I already have this persona on me. Um, Valkyrie, get back here. Let's rest my money. That's all I got. You didn't dried me out. Um, uh, Jack Frost. <laughs> Hi, Pixie. Fuck. If only I was two more, two more levels, I could go and level up, right? And still nothing for Chariot, really. <sighs> nothing beyond this guy who's weak to electricity. And it, what, what would you learn? Principality, what do you got for me? Twin Shot, Hama, Mahama, Media. Just panic. You know what? You know what? You like skill cards? Buy skill cards. Rebellion, Garu, Agi, Kunda. Well, I don't got anything. Kill Rush, there you go. You can have that. Um. Shit, you know what? Right now? Uh. Persona. Right now, just running through a Prince ability seems like. A really stupid idea, but I'm gonna do it. Lock it in there. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? <laughs> I gotta talk to Teddy. I was about to just walk out. Alright. Let's see if we can Mudo and Mahama our way through this fucking shit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Try not to deal with that as much as possible. Seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oh man, that's a lot of SP too. Yeah, it was a stupid idea. Something's funny about Yuki-chan. Here goes. Three enemies down. Take Kanji. Kanji. Damn, Go, finish. Kanji. You're looking great. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's just how your life goes by. Three enemies. Let's get through this. I don't think you got it, Yuki. Uh -oh. um, what was I gonna do? Something's funny about Yuki-chan. How much is regular Hamon? Eight compared to eighteen. Should you start? Should you start doing it? Step on it. Oh man. They're immune to physical, yeah? yeah? I'm just gonna smack it. Kanji's out here pulling everyone's doing everyone's fucking job. Good going, pulling all Kanji. the weight. Your blood must be boiling. Ooh. Swift dodge. Now's my turn. I'm just gonna try and get to tempting offer you make there. Very tempting. We're gonna try and get to level 22, so we can get high pixie. 
and then we'll just fucking steamroll this shit. Oh. Oh, it's not a mini boss, right? It's just the saying hi to reset. <laughs> Everyone's favorite shadow. It's reset. But something's not right. It must be her other self. Hello, all you fans out there. Thanks for coming today. Today, you're going to see every last inch of me. I stand for that. What's that? You don't believe me? <laughs> okay, okay. It feels really weird, because I know that she's 15. Ugh, God, I hate this game. Then why don't we... Oh, but you won't be able to see with all this smoke, huh? Just make a fucking Persona game with a bunch of college students, please, for fuck's sake, so I don't gotta feel weird about it. Okie dokie, just follow me a little further in and I'll prove that I'm every bit as good as my word. Were we like that? Do shadows have age? Well, I mean, it is her true self, so I assume so. <laughs> That's going kind of far. Sheesh. The roar of the crowd is insane this time. Oh, it's making me feel sick. If people really are watching this, we gotta do something, and fast. All right, Reza Tears, don't touch that dial. When we come back, you'll get a good long look at the real me. Maru Q! I get locked up for that. We'd better move it. This is a thousand times worse than just hearing a few nasty secrets. The shadows are really getting aggravated. What we just saw is what that Risei girl is suppressing. She'll be in trouble at this rate. So. Guess I'm on the rescue team now. <laughs> All right, let's hurry up and go. Worst part about getting old is that your wife is stay young. I mean, unless you're in Japan. Again, Japan has a thing now where apparently you can legally marry a waifu, but you can only choose one. And you get married, and some jobs give you marriage benefits for it. It's fucking weird. Get a marriage license for that shit. Oh, come on! Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fucking God damn it. Die yourself, damn it. Mm. Two enemies, charge through them goes. Persona It ain't going down. Jay, make yourself useful, do something. Oh, now the weakness is ice. If you live in J yeah, if you live in Japan, you can you can legally marry Chie. Yes, 100%. Because I remember it made like the news like what? This was like four years ago or some shit. Like. Look, I don't know, you can look it up now. I'm not sure if they kept it, but fucking it, it was something that they're like, yup, you get no you get benefits for this way. shit. But it's a real marriage license. Yeah. Why am I living in America? Jesus. Man. You did it, Sensei! Yeah, but the whole thing about like you get older, your wife who stay younger, it's like <sighs> Now I can't say that I like Yuffie anymore without without people going like, you're weird. It's like, I was fucking like five when I had a crush on Yuffie. And I'm not gonna stop having a crush on Yuffie. I like Yuffie. Uh-oh, this one's really strong! Hmm. I don't know why I had to think about it. Ah, so close. Who got hit with that shit? Of course Kanji got hit with it. Up with Kanji. The one guy that we need. Don't they block it? What am I doing? Oh no, they're just resistant. Okay, fuck. 
Che. I'm sticking to my word and I'm keeping you for this dungeon, but I'm gonna fucking kick you out the moment we're done with this shit. The moment we're done with this shit. I fucking can't stand you. You should get me killed. Let's see. <gasps> get over here, you son of a bitch. Mm! I'll kill you! Come on, you can't run from me. Yeah! A rare monster! Beat the stuffing out! Alright. You got this. Jay, think you can make yourself think you can make yourself useful? Give it to Kanji. I feel like Kanji will be able to do it. Give it to Kanji. One enemy! Fight! 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 Oh my It's like she has the Midas touch. Everything she... Mm, God. Oh my God. Everything you touch turned to shit, Chie. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's your fucking fault. Ow, that hurt. Help! Quite beat it. Come on, someone get a fucking critical. One enemy left. It ain't going down. I couldn't do it. It's gonna escape. It's gonna escape. It's gonna escape. It's gonna escape. It's gonna fucking escape. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're gonna fucking miss anyways, GA. Couldn't quite beat it. Still does 20 damage. Kill rush. Do something. I'll get you next time. Great work. Let's see, uh, the moment you graduate from high school, <laughs> you never got stuck in the video game. <laughs> Ate an old man's hair. Ate an old man's hair. Oh yeah, I got hit by a truck. Do I have any electric balls or ice cubes? Uh, I should have at least one of those, right? Yeah, but aren't they uh, aren't they resistant to that? No, I don't. No, I don't have any of that. I mean, do I need those? Right? It, it, like, if they get hit by that, might as well just use the ability, right? Uh-oh! This one's really strong! Prince Billy, you fucking suck, man. Doesn't matter if they resist, those items do 50 t every time. Oh, really? Hmm. I never knew the game would take it quite literally. I would expect Shimigami Tensei to do something like that, not Persona. God, I fucking... <sighs> Only matters if they're all nullified. Okay. I'm gonna regret the day that I fucking do a playthrough of Shimigami Tensei. I am. I really am. If I do, if I ever do a playthrough of Shimigami Tensei games, they're gonna be New Game Pluses. Cause, cause then we're just gonna be sitting here for fucking years. Another level. Gotta keep at it. Oh, you want that elect boost? It's beautiful. Smart bomb. I take it. Uh oh, this one's really strong. Fucking reflex it. Wow, sensei. You're weak to something. It's so You're weak to something. All right. <laughs> it got back You're not up. weak to anything. You're just it. just an asshole. Uh, it got back up. Hurry and beat it. Chie Chan's in danger. Heal her. And what if I don't heal Chie? Chie Chan's really hurt. 
hurting. Heal her. Uh, I guess. Well, he's gonna reflect it anyway, so might as well just smack him. Oh my God. Four enemies left. Come here, Take Mikazuchi. I'll take the hit. I'll take the hit. Good going, Kanji. Your blood must be boiling. See, there you go. You're not dead yet, Chie. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. was it really just okay? <laughs> Come on, give me to level twenty-two. I'll go dump principality in a fucking ditch somewhere. Chiechan, you're hurt. Get some help. <laughs> Just cut the fucking Michael Jordan McDonald's commercial talking to Chie. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> All right. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oh, dodging bullets. You see that? You see that, Chie? That's how you do that. Now, can you be useful like that? Do it. One enemy! Fight! 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 So who's next? Have I gotten a little stronger? Just a little bit. Just a little stronger. Maybe a tiny bit. Chie Chan, you're hurt! Get some help! Uh-oh! This one's really strong! Let me here goes. You watching Chie? You see that? See that? That's how you do that, Chie. That's what I want to see. Lay down and die already. Chie, now's our chance. Coming. I think this is the only benefit of having Chie on my party right now is just getting this shit. <laughs> Eddie really told you to get some help. Chie-chan's in danger. Heal her. Inflicted with some. Oh no! You no, hit. Oh Sensei. fucking. Sensei, get up! You're lucky I just got to this floor. Now shut the fuck up, video game. I'm tired of your bullshit. <laughs> this is the most I've ever died in Persona 4, by the way, ever. And what's really doing it? Is the fact that because I'm streaming it, I'm stopping myself from just walking away and start grinding. Cause I'll grind for like fucking five hours. I'll do it. I'll do it. Talking to a man who plays Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> I'll grind if I have to. You fucking missed it, really? You missed it? Really? Come on, man. Oh my god, what is with this? Oh, Yuki chan, that was lovely! This is the dumbest fucking game ever. Can you get a crit chi I mean it doesn't matter, they're resistant to it. Fuck it. Uh You just completely block it, right? Yeah. Fucking fuck Chie, whatever. Should have just brought Yosuke. It's down. Should have just brought Yosuke. I don't know why I did that. Yuki Chan beat an enemy. Keep going. You see this, Chie? Do you see that? She's like a fucking dog. I got a rubber nose in it.
changed her persona. I'll take I'll grab Titan, why not? You can't stop me. Oh shit, you can stop me actually. Valkyrie, get the fuck out of here. I didn't need Valkyrie for High Pixie, did I? Did I level up? Nah, she had the best waifu. Listen, I have to stay neutral in the matter, right? But but can't lie. I mean, you can't lie. Here's the proof. <laughs> not a good teammate, Chie. You're not a team player. That's a strong enemy. Don't get hurt. Three enemies down. We Have can... at it. I live for this part. I don't know why Chie misses everything. I don't know. Something's weird about Chie Chan. Doesn't fucking matter. Here goes. That's our Kanji. Two Kanji defeated. Don't know why I did it. My brain is getting melted here. Did that do it? Just give me the level 22, please, for fuck's sake. Let's see, items. HP. Drink it up. There you go. She's slightly not as good. <laughs> oh man, why do we call it a day today? I'm getting dizzy. I'm feeling like calling it a fucking day right now, Teddy. Come so far, it doesn't mean you're a fan of mine? Seriously, that makes me that so happy. Since you tried so hard, I wonder if I should do something special for you, but not here. First, you gotta prove your love just a little bit more. I'll be waiting. Sensei, I'm gonna try even harder. Did I get hit by that? All right, all right. Nah, that's okay. It's fine. It seems strong, nah, it's sure fine. Nah, it's fine. You know, fucking do it. Go ahead, do it. Play the game for me. Fuck it. You got it. No, you got it. Go ahead. You can do it. Cake for Yuki Chan. Maybe you'll get a crit. Mm. Hurt. Hurry and heal her. Mm. Wonderful. Kanji's completely flipped his lid. Lose my goddamn mind here. What the fuck? <laughs> Damn. Split between every girl in the game besides Yukiko. You know, again, I said it earlier in the stream, but it's like... But it's like fucking... Um, I, can't, I got a joke for all of them. Besides Yukiko. I can't come up with jokes for Yukiko on the fly because she really had... Like... The only thing you can make fun of her is her fucking laugh. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, it was a lot of fucking. Strong, but I'm sure you'll win. Oh, it's the downside of doing a playthrough. It's the downside of doing a playthrough. That's what it is. And I ain't no fucking way. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'm gonna die to this guy. It's not gonna work, but. Fucking it doesn't even matter. <laughs> doesn't even matter. Chie and Yosuke had just been fucking me over this whole entire playthrough. But Chie mostly. 
Yeah, but it's like, Yukiko, I got no jokes for her on the fly. I know, right? I am under level, I will say that, right? But the reason I'm under level is because, you know, you're streaming it. Streaming it, doing a playthrough. Are you weak against fucking physical? I'll go. Well Alright, well, go fuck yourself. <laughs> but, um. Whatchamacallit? You know, when you're doing a playthrough that's live, like actually live, and not just live commentary. You can't cut away all the grinding, right? And at the same time, I don't think anyone wants to sit here and watch, like, an hour of me grinding. Because at some point, I'm gonna run out of shit to say. Right? <laughs> Figured out from the size of the shadow. Yeah. Do something, Kanji. It's not that Yuko's bad, everyone's just colorful and quirky, and Yuko's just there. She's just there. I think the reason why she seems like she's just there is mainly because in the early game, they push her towards you so hard. But then the moment Rize joins your party, like, they just make her take a back seat. You know? Because Rize's just about, Rize's just about it. She just constantly just fucking carrying a wet floor sign everywhere she goes. Right? But yeah, Yukiko... I think Yukiko is really fun, though, right? Because it's like, listen, one of the things that they, um, one of the things that they definitely, like, kept in, like, later iterations with Yukiko is that it's both her oblivious nature and just her fucking snarky-ass comments she make. It seems strong, but I'm sure you'll win. One of my favorite lines is, like, when they're in the camp and fucking Hanako's just snoring. Not Han that's her name, right? Hanako. Hanako's just snoring, and then Yukiko's like, what if I just put a fucking pill over her face? <laughs> Two enemies down. Down, Wonderful, sensei. It's great. But yeah, it's like... It's like, I can point out multiple flaws with, like, fucking Rize, Chie, Naoto, right? Yukiko's just kind of, you know... Can't really... I got nothing for her. I don't, ha I don't even have, like, a snarky nickname for her, right? Did I just fucking heal that shadow? Oh my god. So true, it is the best part of her. Exactly right. Fucking... And they, like, they tripled down on that in, like, Persona Q. I haven't played Persona Q 2 at all. That's the only Persona game I haven't played. What the fucking... Oh my god. Oh my god, just fucking shoot me. Yukiko, more like Yuki, no. <laughs> Yukiko just shuts you down real fast. Jesus. After a dungeon, it's like the game ghosted her. Exactly. Well, I mean, not even, like, I wouldn't say after her dungeon, because, like, she has the, again, they push her towards you so fucking hard. Where, uh, you know, Yosuke goes, Who do you like better, Chie or Yukiko? Right? And then, no matter- Even if you say Chie, fucking, you split up later. And then, you know, she's like, Hey, man, uh, here's some drinks. I'm not sure what you wanted, right? And it's like, you want to ask for a number? Meanwhile, Yosuke and Chie are fucking about. And then fucking Chie's just like, What? You saying he likes Yukiko? Where's my go home? I'm gonna go home and cry. <laughs> Alright. I'll return to the entrance. I'm gonna head to Kanji's place and just get to level 22. I'm just gonna do that. Wait, fucking... How much, how much do I gotta pay for you? Ask for healing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm broke as shit right now, but here you go. I'll pat your head. Doesn't seem too upset. Soul drop. Thank you. Um, yeah, our health is fine. Oh shit, I gotta talk to Kanji for that. Kanji, take me to your sauna, dude. <laughs> Hide behind the tree in the most optimal position. Yosuke, more like Rosuke. Noctis, more like not this. 
<laughs> oh man. Puny tiny shadows. Destroy them. I smell three enemies. Don't get careless. I don't even know what you're weak against. I fucking forgot. This one. Wind. I don't even have wind. Fucking what? Smack it. With your sword. Yeah, okay, yeah, that seems fair. Let's get through this! That seems fair, game. Yeah, come on, Yellow Ranger. See that, Chie? Do you see that? I'm not sure if you saw that or not. That's how you hit an enemy. Please come again. Oh, 95 experience. Uh. <laughs> what is my next? Actually. Oh. Oh man. Uh, fuck it. I'll just go back to Rizzo's place and roll the dice. At this point. Damn it. Damn it! Best tip for a game is to stock up on elemental items. See, I never use items in, like, RPGs, really. JRPGs, especially. And again, if this was my, like, if this was my own playthrough that I was just, like, you know, fucking about, right? I would just grind in, like, the first area of Rize's palace. Palace? The fuck did I just... What? Palace. Ugh! I'm gonna start calling them confidants now. God. Why they ever get rid of... They're confidants, not social links. Fucking fuck off, Persona 5. Fuck you. How dare you. How dare you change things that I like. Can't you tell that because I like it means that it's the best one? What the fuck are you even weak to? Weak. Ice. Okay, well, Chie, useful for something, I guess. Don't you fucking... <laughs> Chie, you're useful for something. Dies. You hit its weakness. Just got to 35 and fused the... I don't even know how to say the name of that creature. Uh, Tauti? To toy? I don't know, something. To get your Megiddo? Yeah. Really? You go for a Megiddo? Hmm. I just usually skip it, right? I don't need Megiddo. <sighs> Kanji, can you fucking... I can't even be mad at Kanji. He's been pulling us through this whole entire dungeon so far. Did that do it? I'm just gonna run around for a bit, for a little bit, get to 22. Oh, fucking hell. Why not? Major Arcana's in shuffle time, rank it up, all the way to Meggy Dolan. Oh shit. Really? <laughs> I mean, the only time I really do that is, like, whenever I'm just like, I want the main persona to be, like, level 99. So, like, one of my save files is, like, uh, Izanagi is fucking level what? Like, 80-something right now? Stupid. Um, shit, what are you weak to, again? Oh, okay, everything's a weak to electricity. Once you get Megiddo moves, items don't matter. I mean, they matter fucking if you're messing around with Marie's bullshit. Hope you taught everyone fucking the elemental breaks. Either that or just wait for her to kill herself. Where's Mabufu? Oh, there it is. In terms of gold hands, yeah. Okay. Good move, Chie 
John, that's two. But then again, like any other time, I would grind, and then when gold hands would show up, I would be strong enough to just beat them up. <laughs> oh my god. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. Oh, my bad. Yeah, 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 you're talking about the Magician cards. I'm sorry, fucking... For some reason, I thought you were talking about the Persona level up card. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck I thought that. Wait. Yukiko's the only one that's, like, really hurt? Alright, well, where's the, uh... Did I use all my fucking... Oh, wow. You know what? Here... Da, 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 da. What really bothers me about um about the magician card though is that it doesn't give you any fucking um any of the third tier m magic. Like it won't change Mazio into fucking Maziodine. The game would just be like, no. How about how about we don't do that? How about we just leave? How about we just go the other way? How about that? How about we don't die in one hit? Shadow jumps out. Hey, Shadow! So obvious. Mmm. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. Do I still got that smart bomb? Haha. A mere hundred. It ain't going down! Someone get a critical, please, for fuck's sake. Don't you fucking dare. Mm, come on, gotta have something for that. Briefly raises evasion hit rate. Aww, he done fucked me. He done fucked me over. Come on, Kanji, you're my only hope. Who cares if Chie gets affected? Exactly, who cares if Chie gets affected? <laughs> Damn it. That's how you do it, Chie! That's how you do that! Thank God. Aw, oh, come on. Change to Arcana. <sighs> I can use you for fusion, right? Yeah, I can use you for fusion. Money up? Might as well. Why not physical skill with Chie? Because she's missing so much that I'd rather not fucking just lose health for missing attacks. That and and last time I did the physical attack, it didn't change the it didn't change the amount of damage she did. At all. She still did like 20 something damage. Assault dive. Get rid of Skullcracker for it. Question Is Assault Dive stronger than Skullcracker or are they the exact same and there's literally no reason for fucking Assault Dive? Because I find it stupid. If they're the exact same, I find it stupid that you learned it. After Skullcracker, which has a chance of panic. Assault Dive is stronger? Okay, great. I don't really have a use for panic in this game anyways, honestly. Except for getting money. Oh, did I level up? Like, I know the enemies can hit Another themselves, but half of the time they don't. Fucking status effects got super nerfed for your party in, in Golden compared to the original game. Like, in the original game, you would, you would be able to silence the bosses. Nato is worthless. <laughs> Not Nato as a party member, the boss. Shadow Nato is worthless. Uh, alright, so... Why the fuck am I pressing that button? Jesus fuck. Alright. Get me... The fuck... 
out of here. All right, cool. Turn to the entrance. We're gonna go grab High Pixie. Now, High Pixie is weak to ice, I think, so we gotta watch out for that. But I think that's not gonna be a problem until, until uh, you know, we get to the boss, right? Where you at, High Pixie? There you go. Jack Frost Prince ability and you. Okay, cool. You're gonna be learning. Yes. You're gonna be learning Invigorate, Regenerate. Um Ice Boost. Resist Wind. You don't need Resist Wind, do you? Rakunda would be nice. Media would be helpful. You already have Mazio. Mahama seems to not be helping me at all. Mabufu is just fucking... Everything is resistant to it at this moment. Kind of Rakunda just for the boss, really. Hmm. The moves all have different stats, even though they're labeled as light damage. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I just thought it was something that they didn't tell you. So I would always replace it anyways, but like... I never really, I could have easily looked it up, but I never, you know, I'm just lazy. <laughs> uh, twin shot. Mm. Well, she does learn Zionga. Media. I want to know, if, I'm trying to think if, do I really want media or not? <laughs> twin shot, Mahama, poison mist, poison mist. I barely use Poison Mist. Fuck! I usually just slap on media for the fuck of it. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care how much longer do I got for this fucking stream. <laughs> don't you fuck it up, Igor. I'll kill you. Oh shit, well the stream... <laughs> Stream's close to an end anyways. Close to an end. Not at an end. Close to it. Got like maybe what, 15, 20 more minutes or something like that? Game usually doesn't lie to you when it gives you higher level moves. Okay. I don't know, some games do. Some games are full of shit. Usually. <laughs> Usually. Yeah. Alright. We got High Pixie. Saving it up. You're equipped, right, Pixie? Yeah, you're equipped. How poor am I? Tell me how poor I am, Fox. Hmm. Getting a little bit more money. So might might be able to come back and get some heals from him. Quote unquote heals. Fake heals. Fake news. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put a snuff soul in my mouth hole. And I'm gonna do the same thing with Kanji too. You know what I really wish that they kept from Persona 3 and Persona 4? Why the fuck can't I change the dungeon music? <laughs> right? I would listen to Backside of TV the whole entire time. That's all I did in Persona 3 anyways, I would listen to Maya's theme. It's good. It's the best one there. Speaking about themes, don't... Sure, I guess, why not? Speaking about themes, one of the themes that are slept on is, uh, you ever play Catherine? Oh no. Oh man, I shouldn't really be going up here, should I? Come on, hang in there, just a little more, I'm rooting for you. What? We're desperately trying to save her, but she's cheering us on instead. I don't know how to feel about this. I'll tell you exactly how to feel about this. Oh, fucking hell. Never mind! <laughs> Escape. I don't want to deal with the red ones. I really don't. Usually some bullshit waiting for me. Ah! 
Oh, this is pretty easy. But I'm sure you'll win. Thanks, Hi Pixie. It's time, Chie. This is it. That was easy. Where's my shuffle time? Come on, game, you're being stingy with it. Oh, holy shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. You get over here. You're not getting away from me. All righty. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out of it. To it. Get the golden one. Get the golden one. Get the golden one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's do it. This is it. First time you didn't fuck it up, Chie. Good job. Oh shit, now we might die for it. Oh man, we might die for the shit. Wonderful sensei. Amazing sensei. Oh you better stand by. Oh my god, Chia, come on, don't be pull don't be pulling your punches now. Damn right I did. Have I gotten a little stronger? That was lucky. Alright. Well, because that happened, I'm just gonna run downstairs and run back upstairs so if I do die, it doesn't fucking reset it. That way it can be like, you wanna continue from this floor? See, just keep, just keep giving me these enemies. I'll take it. I'll take the easy one. There you go, Chie. Great job using fire on the fire girl. Oh my... No, it's yeah, I'll give you I'll cut you a little slack right now. Got my level up. Underestimate me. Cut you a little slack, just a little bit. Don't get used to it. Fuck that. <laughs> Hell no. Not doing that. What are you guys weak to ice? It yeah. Fuck, well, I don't got none of that shit. Really? Really? Oh, Chie Chan, that was beautiful! If only you had some magic, Chie. Good job, Chie. Good job. Do it again. Damn it. Three enemies. Let's get through this. It ain't going down. I couldn't do it. Why am I trying to attack this one and not the guy? Not the guy on the ground that's resistant to everything. I just realized what the hell I was doing. Thanks for shooting Kanji. Couldn't quite beat it. Two left. 
Alright, there we go. Burn those bitches down. Yuki-chan beat an enemy! Keep going! What the fuck? A hundred and... Level me up. Aha! You damn right I did. All right. Let's see. Med kit. Up. Uh. Let's find some stairs. And get the fuck out of here. And I can finally make some progress with my level 24 ass. Right? Oh fuck that. That's a strong enemy. Oh, there. Now's your chance to run. <laughs> Out here rolling some dice. Not going to be doing that anytime soon. This way. Haha. -ha! Oh shit. There you go. Wow, I'm so happy you came. But still, I'm a little embarrassed. So I'm gonna turn out the lights. Hmm. She turned off the lights, then this means... Sensei, I'm about to climb the stairway of adulthood. No, the fuck you're not. Huh. I got 26,000 now. Now I can... Now I can... Now the fox can give me the good stuff. Alright. Let's see. Items. Oops. I think this is my last go home, right? Yep. Yeah. It's my last go home. Turn to the entrance. Alright. Save the game. Okay. So. I'm coming up on time, right? Start started the stream like an hour and a half early. This time around. So, we got... We got five, we got five and a half hours of uninterrupted Persona Fornit, uh, Fornit? Wow. Persona Forage. That's what we got. I'm tripping all over my words today. Um, so, that's gonna be it for right now. Next time, we, uh, come to the stream. Um, I'm gonna try, I mean, we're gonna, again, we're gonna do, uh, what you call it, you know. Phoenix Wright. Phoenix, I keep calling Phoenix Wright. Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. We're going to do that, right? Um, maybe earlier within the same day of that, I'll try and see if I can stream like for an hour or two or something. I'm not sure. Um, I'll see. I'll see what, what will happen. I don't know. Nothing's ever set in stone for me. Uh, so, this is it for the stream for me. I'm going to take a break and then... Uh, in like an hour from now, I'm gonna have- I'm gonna start recording some shit, cause I gotta get stuff up for the YouTube channel. Uh, so get that done with for me. That's- that's the plan right now. Maybe play a little bit of Shifu. <laughs> cause I- I'm really excited for that game, and since I pre-ordered it, I can play it early. Which is great. And, uh, yeah. That's- that's for me. Um, as for the YouTube channel and stuff like that, right? Uh, I'm currently- Currently, uh, trying to get all the parts out for for a nightmare for Christmas, like always, and all that bullshit, right? Uh, today, the blood, the blood, fucking the blood drive. Of course, party blood drive. That final part should be going up along with another, another uh, part for for what you call it, Vampire the Masquerade. That stuff going up on the YouTube channel, right? Um, you know, that's it. <laughs> nothing crazy, nothing different. Uh, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working to get the, uh, I'm trying to get the Pokemon Marathon up this month, right? When that happens, I'll let you guys know. But hopefully by, hopefully before the end of this month, we'll, uh, open that up with Pokemon Blue, right? And then, yeah, that's that. So, <clears throat> for those who came and watched on Twitch, thank you very much, I greatly appreciate it. It's nice talking to you guys live, and hearing me scream and yell and lose my mind progressively throughout the night. 
I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, if you're not followed, click that follow button. Cool. All right. Cool. That, right? Um, for people on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi, hello, thank you for watching. Uh, I have other videos and playthroughs you can check out if you are ever so inclined. And, you know, if you liked what you saw, click that like button. It helps out a lot. If you, even if you disliked it, click the dislike button. Because YouTube tries to tell you that it doesn't help out, but it still does. So, you know, just, you know, a little, little thing there. Um, you know, and if you're watching this on YouTube, you're not subscribed, and you want to do that, click the bell. You get notifications for videos going up and all that beautiful jazz. So, can you tell that I'm, like, super tired right now? I'm very tired. So, that's everything that I have to say. You know, there's the Twitter there. If you want to follow me there, I post some things, stupid things from time to time. You know, just scream into the void. And that's everything. So, I said that's everything, like, 50 times by now. As always, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you... In the next video, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.